Hello and welcome Wait, to what episode has disappeared? Two. Why is oh, it no. Like... Oh no! Perfect timing. Wait, technical difficulties. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can't do the technical difficulties and do that. <laughs> have like a sign and hold it up when there's technical oh, difficulties. Stokes, can you draw that? Well, cameras. <laughs> oh, that's right. I guess that didn't work then. <sighs> Whatever. Wait, yeah, why won't it? Oh, they're back. They're back. Oh, they're, back. they're back. Okay. Whew. All right. The game will go on. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for episode 10 of our Rhyme of the Frost Maiden stream. Really excited for this episode. Um, we have, uh, today is book day, because one, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything released, so we have that supplement here on our Roll20 game already, so our players will be using some content from there. I know some of our some of our players have that in person, which is awesome. Um, there's some really cool stuff. We've been excited about this for a long time, so... Uh, I, I'm excited to to play around with that. Uh, probably won't be using too much of it on the DM side tonight, just because it just released today, and I didn't really have the opportunity to read a whole lot yet. But when is reading the rules ever stopped you? <laughs> you know, it hasn't um, yet. Um, I can say that I'm using Tasha's content and then just make shit up, and and that'll be fine. Um, anyway, that's not the only book. Also today, uh, I received. My order of MJ's uh, book, uh, Dark Drifters. Uh, so this you. is a novel. So, hang yeah, on, I've been you. screwed out of two books this week because Tasha doesn't release here till the first of December, and international shipping means I don't have MJ's book either. <laughs> Fuck you it's both. not yeah. my fault that you live in the UK. I mean, I mean, it is I can now. Only a little. It is a little bit. So much. A little it's bit a little, of your fault. Little, <laughs> I can only control so much. Slightly bit of your fault. So um, <laughs> this book, this is a novel that was written by MJ, um, and I will have a link to MJ's online store in the, the uh, video description. I'll throw one in chat here as well. So if you're watching it VOD, you can just scroll down, check the links below, and we'll have it. Um, I'm excited to get started on reading that. So I like how your hey, opening gambit was to make MJ cry. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if I kill if I kill MJ's character, it's not a big it's deal. Fine. Right? No, fine. <laughs> yeah, I plugged your book. Now die. All is right in the world. Right. Um, <clears throat> so when last, oh, also Ian's back. Welcome yeah, back, Ian's Ian. Yeah, Ian's back. Yeah, details. <gasps> <laughs> um, yeah, so so Ian missed last session, unfortunately, but now we have the full crew back. And look at that. Already we have, that. thanks for the reminder, Jayhawk, in chat. Um, Jayhawk is blessing MJ uh, right <laughs> off the bat, saying congratulations mm. on the book. Um, this is that's panda. I released the book, too. <laughs> I, I really didn't. That, that reminds me that there are new things for you to spend your channel points on if you're just joining us um, and you missed last session. Um, you can bless a character for 800 points. That gives them a D4 that they get to add to their next ability check or attack or saving throw. You can... Um, uh, what else is on here? Uh, name an NPC. Oh, Healing Surge. You can you can give a PC a Healing Surge where they immediately roll one of their hit dice, add their Constitution modifier, and regain that number of HP right away. Uh, those are added to the um, the other options that have been there since pretty much since we started. Uh, but continuing on from there, when last we played, uh, we had a pretty fun session last time. They left the party, left Kelvin's Cairn, and was like, you know what? We haven't gone west. Let's go west this time. And they traveled to Termalane. Um, and then immediately regretted they went to Termalane because uh, there was some <laughs> conflict between, I have no between Leif particularly <laughs> and the speaker of Termalane because the night that they were there was the night of the sacrifice and Termalane is one of the towns that sacrifices heat. And so our players had to go a night without any fires. Um, following that evening, they then, uh, half of them I split. Had to go a night without Leif. Yeah, <laughs> a night without heat, also a night without Leif. <laughs> Uh, Leif got both, though, so he was good. Um, One of these was but... worse than the other. <laughs> the following day, uh, our players split, and we had a couple of them go and talk to the speaker about um, the impending Dwagar threat uh, and basically get an idea for, um, or basically let them know that, hey, we do have a reason to believe that on this date, Ten Towns will come under attack by some sort of Dwagar force. Uh, the speaker was like, you know, okay, like, that's that's great. Um, I'll keep an eye out for Dwagar. Thanks, thanks, but no thanks. Essentially, um, and, and then the rest of our party was walking around Termalane looking for any signs of Dwagar, and they were unable to find anything. So they then proceeded south out of Termalane, heading toward Bryn Shander. In the middle of the night, they uh, came across a beam of light that was shooting up into the sky in the distance, and they uh, assembled to go inspect 
and see see what that was all about. And they came across an undead called a cold light walker. It is an undead humanoid in which they're wrapped in cold weather clothing except for their face, and there's this bright beam of light shooting out of their face. Um, it was uh, it was a pretty easy fight for the group overall, although the cold light walker does hit kind of hard. Um, our group came out of it my successfully. Ass. <laughs> Shield spell is the only thing that saved me. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. Um, and so they actually then collected the the corpse, the second hand corpse, not second hand corpse. Uh, the second corpse Re of the Cold Light Walker. There's a Recycle. re corpse. There we go. <laughs> um, and brought that to Bryn Shander, where they met with the speaker there, Devessa Shane. Um, they basically clued her into what sort of effects they believe the uh, the sacrificing of humanoids is having, uh, because they have reason to believe that that Cold Light Walker used to be someone who was sacrificed, or that is rather that's someone who was sacrificed and then raised, presumably by Oral the Frost Maiden. Um, and then they also in, uh, brought uh, Duvessa in to know about the Dwagar attack as well. She was a little more receptive to it than the Speaker of Tourmaline, but still, for the most part, you're kind of getting the idea that the Speakers are, unless you have, like, something more than just a map and a date, you know, some sort of harder concrete evidence um, that really gets that threat across, they're not really taking it too seriously, unfortunately. <laughs> While um, the party was meeting with Duvessa Shane, uh... Uh, Leif was outside, um, and he came across a gnome named Copper in Bryn Shander who requested that Leif and his party head north to the Black Cabin to check on Leif's partner, former former partner and friend, uh, Mac, who was um, working on some sort of experiment up in the Black Cabin. Uh, and then also the rest of our party, speaking with, this, with the speaker of Bryn Shander, got a job to go and uh, go to the prison of Revel's End where they are to meet with one of the prisoners who is a member of the Arcane Brotherhood in hopes to get more information regarding this cold light walker and what exactly on a magical level is happening to Icewind Dale currently. Uh, our party then traveled north and when we they faced an ice troll in the middle of the night on their way north to the Black Cabin and then when we last left off you guys were just coming into sight of the Black Cabin um, in the distance. So Let's go ahead and pick it up right there. Um, so like okay, I had mentioned... Sorry, so. Go ahead. Um, since uh, since Tasha's just came out and nothing's happened since the last time we rested, is it okay if I swap a spell out? Yeah, totally. Go ahead. Cool. Done. I would say you guys can approach this session as if you just finished a long rest, so go ahead and Thank make God. any swaps or, cha or changes. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to HP. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So, um, the Black Cabin, perched on the edge of a snowy ridge uh, above a gorge is a Black Lodge on wooden stilts. Uh, whatever path might have led to this ramshackle retreat lies buried under the snow. Uh, you see icy steps that climb up to a snow-covered walkway, uh, which clings to the south side of the structure. The building's slumped posture and sagging snow-covered roof, coupled with the broken windows and loose shutters, suggest utter abandonment. Large snowdrifts huddle around the rotting stilts and engulf a nearby woodshed and outhouse. What do you guys do? I'm going to move us to the Black Cabin map, which I forgot to do earlier. So there we go. Um, yeah, so like it says, uh, this lodge is um, perched up on stilts. You can see that just to the west of your current position is the, the lip or the edge of this gorge. Um, and if you were to walk over there and peer down, you would see that the trees below, you're, you're gathering that the, the bottom of the gorge is about 100 feet down. Um, so quite a drop. And this, this uh, black cabin is perched right over the edge of it. Uh, there is enough space for you to walk on the snow underneath the cabin, like where the stilts are and everything, if you wanted to, for whatever reason, wanted to go under there, because um, it's about 20 feet up to the, the walkway itself. Can we see how to get up to the walkway? Um, oh, you might not be able to because you're a human. There you go. Yep, there should be a set of stairs on the far east side of this walkway that lead up. And you can see that the walkway is missing boards in multiple spots. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was stairs or not right there. Yep, those are stairs. Okay. I'm going to move Bjarn. I'm assuming you're not taking Bjarnkin into the No, um, it's cabin. a very okay. rickety cabin. No. <laughs> All right. Let's just say a, a wooden shed, like 
log storage looks like. Yep. Looks like this looks like a shed, an open shed, and then there's an outhouse uh, right right next to it as well. I will investigate the shed. Okay. I will take an investigate check. And I, there we go. Asking. Yeah. Um, there's a, a lot of wood stacked up. Um, it's not full, but it mm -hmm. you the amount of wood there would lead you to believe that whoever was occupying this shed uh, intended to be here for a while. But you can also see that the wood is covered in a thick layer of frost, mm -hmm. um, implying that it hasn't been used in a while. Mm -hmm. It just snowed the previous night, right? There was yes. a blizzard. Yeah, when we fought the uh, the troll. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there any way to know, like, with all the debris, what might have happened here? Just from the outside? Um, I'll take a, uh, I'll take perception or investigation. And if you have proficiency with carpentry tools, carpenter's tools, uh, I'll let you make it with advantage. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, well, wait, that's persuasion. It, it doesn't matter. It should be the same. <laughs> It's the same bonus, so. Oh, there we go. Um, so, Kaylee, you're not sure what happened, but uh, um, Bear, it doesn't take you very long before you look at this, and you can tell that that this is normal wear and tear. Like, this shack has just been, it hasn't been maintained. Um, it looks to you like it was built many, many years ago, um, and chances are it probably has had multiple residents, multiple mm -hmm. tenants over the years. Uh, but it just seems like, at least in the recent years, it hasn't been maintained. Okay. I make sure to let everybody know this. I'm going to start making my way upstairs. Okay. Yeah, let's get this over with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the rush? You got somewhere to be, Nahessa? This thing like it looks like it's going to tumble over the edge of that cliff. <laughs> and I can only levitate one of us, so. <laughs> um, the floorboards creak. And we all know it's going to uh, be the Arkan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the floorboards creak loudly um, and shift beneath your feet, but they do hold steady. Um, looking through that broken window there, Leif, uh, you're looking into what looks to be what was at one point a workshop of some sort. Uh, you can see that there's frost all over all the furniture and the floor. Um, pretty much every surface in that workshop is covered in frost. You can see that there's tools scattered about. Um, and you can also see signs that uh, lead you to believe that there's probably squirrels that lived in this, or maybe still live in this room um, at some point. Both of the windows are broken out. so, And that is the door that you're right in front of now. There's another door over here, though, right? Yep, there's another door over here. I'm just going to peek through this. Is this a window? Yep, that's a window. That looks into what looks to be like the main living room of the cabin. You see a long table uh, dominating the center of the room. You see part of a fireplace on this side. Um, and also you can see, uh, it's hard to make out from here, but you can see what looks to be um, some sort of round object sitting on the table. It looks like it has a black core, and then there's like some metal bands around it, almost. Huh. I guess I'm just hmm. sort of going around the outside here. Okay. Um, Kaylee, the snow has piled up um, all along the stilts, uh, but like I said, there's still room for you to walk under the cabin if you so chose. Uh, but otherwise, you're not seeing anything out of the ordinary um, mm -hmm. regarding the exterior of the cabin. I know that your vision allowed you to see into some of these rooms, but I'm not going to describe it because they would have been way above your head. So, yep, yeah. well, that's fine. I'm sure. more looking at the walls and whatnot, anyway. So, okay. Not... I mean, everything. It looks old. Um, everything looks. It... Kaylee, as far as you're concerned, uh, the cabin looks uh, like it's solidly built, and like even though it has. Um, been worn over the years, you're pretty confident in the craftsmanship that went into erecting it. Okay. I Are am you... actually going to explore under the under the main cabin. Just looking to make sure there isn't anything hiding down there. Okay. Um, I'll take uh, another investigation check from you then. Bear? 
Do I see any Are signs these windows of someone intact? living in here? Um, Ricks, the windows are all broken. Leif, um, you see, you can see that, like, everything that you see is covered in, in, um, there's at least snow that's been blowing in the windows. It doesn't look like the place has been well kept. Uh, however, um, knowing that at least Copper was like, hey, my friend is up in this black cabin. Like, if he only used one of these rooms regularly, it's not too out of the realm of possibility that the rest of them would look as bad as they do. You know what I mean? I suppose um, we could call out and announce ourselves. <laughs> like, uh, hey. Wait, what is this guy's name? I don't really want to yell because it's like teetering oh. over the edge of a gourd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bear, when you're under the cabin, um, inspecting the, the cabin and the stilts, um, what you think or what you can see is that the floor looks mostly solid. However, there is a section to the western side of the living room that looks like it, it is pretty weak, and your guess is that it could collapse. And what's more troublesome than that is that part of that section is over the gorge, like over the edge of the gorge. <laughs> Why would they build it like this? Does this? This is some guy we're really small ever. Ever. And signed <laughs> by Copper. This yes, is, uh... the guy, the guy's name is Mac, and Copper yeah, no, was the John. one who gave you the obvious. We went from deliver <laughs> to home inspectors now, apparently. Yeah, um, that's a window that Runa head? just climbed through. Mm. I'm sorry, I thought it was a door. Never mind. That's fine. The window's large enough; you could climb through it if you wanted to. But that I door, if you test it, door right next to it, let's just open the door. That door, oh, if you climb. test it, yeah, it is unlocked, um, and it has to climb through the window. Um, yeah, I okay. perch on the sill and then kind of like tiptoe <laughs> onto it. Sure. Yeah. Um, that room is I... uh, ex exactly as I described it before. Every surface mm -hmm. is covered in frost. It looks like an abandoned workshop. And now that you're in here, you don't see that it has any other direct access to the rest of the cabin. Um, mm -hmm. However, you do see tools of various kinds scattered all about. So if you take time to investigate, um, you could collect the tools and, and you know, get like a set of artisan's tools or whatever from this. But... So Runa sure. goes through the door, and then Nahesa climbs through the window, and then Runa, not wanting to be shown up, exits through the door, and then climbs in through the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, a few single digits. All right, yeah, well, it, so, I, I don't know what the threshold was to collect this stuff, but... Um, I would say that you, you are able to, um, after spending some time in there, you'll be able to collect a set of Smith's tools from the <clears> workshop. Mm -hmm. I, try and, I think I, I to... realize what I'm picking up. Uh, like, I've gotten, like, a chisel or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. uh, something to hammer in rivets. And then when it comes to pick up, like, a sledgehammer, I just kind of, like, drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Go straight for well, the floor. Bear, bear might have yeah, all that stuff just, like, clatter on the floor, I guess. Like, like Bear definitely sidesteps as a sledgehammer comes crashing through the ceiling. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this all looks solid. Smash! <laughs> All right, uh, Leif, you asked me a question. Can I try I and jump door. across this gap? <laughs> um, that's yeah. It's only a three foot gap, so I'm not going to need a check. Oh, okay. You'll just you'll be able to make it. Bam. Um, ah. the boards when you when you do that little hop over that gap, the boards on the other side creak um audibly uh, a lot louder than everything else, and they start they start to tip, but they don't. Right. So I'm going to hook my axe. I've got one axe out, and I'm going to hook it on the railing of the balcony. Just as I'm walking along, just mm -hmm. in case. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to try the door. Okay. Um, I'm going to need a dexterity saving throw, but you can make it with advantage because you have your axe hooked. See? This is why you always hook your axe, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Stokes right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've just watched so. Cliffhanger. <laughs> um, all right. So as soon as you step in front of the doorway, the boards on that part of the walkway all give way. Um, and Leif, you start to slide down and fall. Your axe allows you, like your hold on the axe and the axe's hook over the railing allows you to redirect your fall. So you land in the soft snow at the top of the cliff as opposed to plummeting down through the trees. Um, uh. So... You, <laughs> there's this loud creaking and breaking of wood, and then this flump as leaf as leaf <laughs> just lands in the snow. Um, 
Uh, and then you guys can hear the pieces of wood falling through the trees below, which kind of <laughs> echo throughout the gorge. Like, you know what I mean? Everything was quiet. Yeah. <laughs> we just hear, um, like, but now you're you're back down the, here. You're the, not okay. like this part of the walkway is gone. So I'll go back to the beginning of the mouse trap. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, from underneath, does there does it look like there's any way I can shore up the the you know parts of the building that are the most precarious just um, long enough that we can safely explore with time and with a test i would say that yes you could uh reinforce the sections you can reach but like i said a good part of it is is over mm -hmm. the edge of the cliff so some of it you just won't be able to reach right and and that i fully accept <laughs> sure okay yeah if you want to give me a a uh strength test with well, no, let's do intellect. Intellect test with, uh, if you have carpenter's tools, you can add your proficiency to it. Um, <laughs> that will take you some time, though, so you guys will mm -hmm. probably be hearing, like, hammering and clanging beneath, <laughs> okay, the, <laughs> beneath the cabin. I'm going to shout out, <laughs> just trying to save your guys' asses. <laughs> they have a lathe <laughs> troll. <laughs> uh, how big's the gap in the wall here? Um, that's a window, so it's, it's the same size as the one you went through before. <laughs> I'm going to take out one of my ball bearings and throw it through the window. <clears throat> okay. Um, it uh, it clatters into the room, hits the far wall, and rolls back. And then you see it, um, as it's kind of rolling back, it starts to... I should draw it instead of using my finger. It starts to kind of go this direction. Okay. Hmm. All for you. I'm going to look at Nahesa, shrug, and then jump through the window. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. Um, Rick's, uh, the room you're in, yeah, like I said before, it looks to be the main room. However, now that you're fully into the room, there's some, uh, some details that were previously unable to be seen. Um, you can see that the walls and the furniture in this area over here, like everything on the inside of the door, this side of the table, that part of the floor and everything, it's all scorched black. Mm. Um, and you can see that on the table, there's that device that I described to, or that object that I described to Leif, which is it has like a black, almost like a rock or stone sort of core. And then there's metal bands, two metal bands around it that have, now that you're a little closer, you can see they have runes inscribed into them. Um, there's also the charred remains of a book on the table and the charred remains of a humanoid mm. right over here. I'll actually draw on the map where those where that is, the humanoid. Right. Humanoid's right fun. here. Let's get our XP. Orb is on, on the, uh, <laughs> the orb and the book are on the table, yep. Can someone remind me again of what exactly we were supposed to check on here? There's supposed to be a person called Mac here. This. Okay. <laughs> the charred remains. Yeah, we don't know. It could be any charred man. remains. <laughs> uh, huh. Okay. Tell me, does that look like he was subject to a spell? Uh, I'm not very crafty um, with magic, but connecting the dots, <laughs> yes? Nahesa, you believe <laughs> that um, that there was some sort of magic that went on here. Uh, and not only that, uh, you believe that the book and the object on the table um, mm. are related to that. Mm -hmm. Are the, the runic bands legible from here? Not from here. Or, okay. Uh, so Runa yeah. walks over to the charred corpse mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like kneels kind of close to it, probably around where Nahesa is, and... Oh, over here. And... oh, sorry. I was judging based on your... Uh, okay, so you're over there. So Runa walks over to the corpse where no one else is, <laughs> earnestly and genuinely kneels in front of it and asks if it's Mac. <laughs> <laughs> like, there is no response. My name is Runa. I hate when my Big Mac is well done. <laughs> 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 I'm going to use that opportunity to remind our viewers that you can turn in channel points to award inspiration <laughs> and you can start a blizzard and you can start a also blizzard also something to keep in mind <laughs> if 
Uh, um, so as you guys are going around the table, <laughs> as you guys are going around the table, you do get a closer look at the object. Mm -hmm. um, Bear, I'm going to say that that your work is done by this point. I'm going to mark <laughs> on the map where okay. Bear was able to reinforce. And this looks to be about the rest of the week area. So. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give it just a little bit of time just to see. All right. Um there so looks you guys like two very lucky people there. <laughs> so um as you walk past this object. <laughs> as you walk past this object, you get a better look at it. Um this is gonna show the name of it. The name of it isn't really a spoiler or anything, but just as a heads up, I'm gonna show you guys the art handout of what this looks like. Ooh. That looks uh, so like the looks exact like opposite a... of summer and the star. <laughs> <laughs> it is a it is a black um uh substance a black uh hard object in the center that is mm. held that is has two metal bands on the outside of it that have mm. uh runes carved into them uh, I'm and roll this but i assume that uh it's pretty obvious what this guy died from Try um it. he died <laughs> from a, a sudden <laughs> gift from <laughs> drowning yeah um uh from uh, uh, uh an explosion essentially i want to reach over and search the body see if there's any stuff documents on it yeah i was thinking to move it out actually outside where it's not on this rickety old floor <laughs> is that all right does nothing else look like it was burned in the room no the whole this whole side of the room is the floor is mm -hmm. charred the furniture is charred Oh, okay. So it like it, mm -hmm. it, it literally the explosion went all the way to the the west side of the the room. Um, it covered. Yeah, it covered <laughs> about about that much space. Okay. So, Bear, can you help me make a like sort of not? I don't know. What do they call it? Stretcher, so we can get this guy outside, or. We could levitate him. We could. <laughs> it's so convenient. Anyone could, yeah. Someone could do that. Yeah. It'll it'll catch on in Iceland Dale eventually. <laughs> Centuries from now, that will be their burial ritual. Yeah. Uh, I, this was a door, right? <laughs> Yep, there's three doors along the north wall and one along the south wall of that hallway. I'm going to mage hand this open. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the door swings yeah. Yeah. inward. Mm -hmm. You hear it clatter against the, uh, against the wall. All right. And we can't hear anyone um, moving about or anything? Uh... Passive perception of 18? No, you don't hear anything. Well, this... I don't think he said what Mac was. Was he a... Uh... He said that Mac was a human. Okay. Mac's charcoal. Yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna, uh... he's, a, he's a briquette. <laughs> move the body off from the uh, unstable area, at least. Um... Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Nehesa, yeah. that looks to be the master bedroom. Um, uh, the bed looks like it's in better condition than the house around it, but only just. Um, you do see mm -hmm. signs of snow having blown in through the broken window. There's another fireplace here um, that you can see some like remnants of burnt logs in there, some you know, uh, evidence that has been used within the last few days. Uh, but otherwise, the room itself appears to be empty. Is this a desk? Um, that is... Uh, what is that? Be? Um, a bookcase. And there's, there's a, a scroll in a scroll case. Or there's a scroll case, I should say, on the bookcase, but that's the only object up there. Okay. I'll hold this <laughs> I miss that you say you were grabbing. I, I, I helped myself to the scroll case. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> um, and there is uh, 
fix I have a handout for that, so I'll add that to your journal. Nahessa? Um, it is uh, under player art handout, um, or player handouts. The book on the table, mm -hmm. is it open and burned? Uh, yes, it is open. Um, so the pages it, are illegible. But if I flip, I'll use my axe to just flip the cover closed. Is there any mm -hmm. writing on the front or the spine? Uh, the the front cover is completely destroyed. Um, you're not able to make out anything in there, but the spine does have um, some words on it. Uh, or some letters, the only letters that you can make, and this is a small part of a much larger title, the only letters you can see are that in chat. E-T-H-E-R. Hmm. Um, Rick, so you said it, you were going to go through the... Is there space before or after that? Where's the bulk uh, of the both. space on the spine? Most of the, spa it's, most of the space is before, and then there's a little bit of space after. Um, Rix, you said you were going to go through the remains. Um, yep. When you and Kaylee move the body off of the weak part of the floor, um, you're kind of dismayed to see that that most of the remains kind of just crumble away from you. So there isn't much to go through. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're kind of digging around, you do find an amulet uh, amongst the remains. It, it appears unharmed. Mm -hmm. um, and it is the shape of, it's a golden amulet with uh, two hands cupping a sun. Um, Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, Mac was a priest of Lathander, and that sounds like Lathander. <laughs> mm. So, Nick, mm -hmm. I am going to cast Identify on this weird charcoal-containing wheel thing that was on the desk. Okay. The summer star. But was there a uh, shovel anywhere? A I have shovel? a shovel. I just whip out my shovel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think this guy deserves a proper burial uh, uh, somewhere. Do you want me to dig it, or did you? you... No, I'll, I'll dig it. It'll take me forever because I've got a strength of six. I throw my I'll, shovel I'll of returning at Kaylee. I'm kidding. It's not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Bear I, that object. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, real quick, MJ. Um, oh, no, that, that object uh, is the summer star, as you saw from the art. Um, what you can tell about it is that when held uh, and when someone attunes to it, they can cast the spell Control Weather from it. Ooh. Mm. That's really useful, actually. All right. What That's was that, MJ? Incredibly useful. I was just going to say, I think... I follow Kaylee outside, and uh, when I see that she's digging with a shovel, I immediately like shift into wolf form and begin digging alongside <laughs> her, even though I don't understand or know why she's digging. Wait a sure. second. So, suddenly I realize this is Icewind Dale. Digging is yeah. not going to help. Uh, so I'm looking for rocks for a cairn of some sort. <laughs> um, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, also, Bear, regarding the Summer Star, um, you are dubious that casting, that in its current state, that you would be able to cast Control Weather from it. You think that it is... Um, you think that it is uh, um, missing, like it's incomplete. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I nudge this door open next to me. Okay. Um, and Bear, if you want to continue studying the Summer Star, um, I will let you give me a uh, an Arcana check to see if you can figure out what is missing. Now, has to is that he room in the, is he in the room? I believe so. It, oh, it, is uh, Bear or, in the room? Like around the corner for me? Can I see him fiddling with it? Basically, yes, I'm, yeah. well, I'm not I'm, hiding. I'm at the table, pretty much. Uh, okay. So I'd say there. I suggest you don't do that. <laughs> uh, I'll, ma I'll make my way over here, drop the letter on the table, but then, like, head back to my Okay, inspection. I'll share that with everybody then. Yeah. Um, bear... 
Uh, so the letter, yeah, I'll just share the letter first before I go any further. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Nehesa, that room is, it appears to be a guest bedroom. There's no signs of use. Um, the bed is in very mm -hmm. poor condition. Uh, a lot of snow mm -hmm. build up there. Wait, sorry, where's the letter? Mm -hmm. uh, it should be in player handouts. Um, yep, I hit show to it, players. It's Copper's letter, I think. Copper, yeah. I'll add it. Yep, I'll add it to it. all players' journals. They're right, not so even it. hiding it. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't see it either. No, I just added it to player all art players. handouts. Uh, player art. Oh, handout player art handout. Yeah, okay, right, got it. Yeah, the fact that they all start with player art handout is, is kind of, yeah, because that's literally what I could <laughs> see in that column. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Runa, were you opening this door or were you just standing in front of it? Uh, I was going to open it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that room uh, contains a fireplace on the far right, a couple of empty bookcases. Tacked on the walls and strewn across the floor are frost-covered blueprints. And uh, face down on the floor next to some of those blueprints is a tiny, uh, tiny humanoid shape made out of clay. Okay. <laughs> I will examine it. Okay. I'll take uh, an Arcana check. Oh, here we go. I'm <laughs> so good at these. I'm so sarcastic. <laughs> Don't know what it is. I found a tiny person. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What the feeling about that? That was what? a tiny person. What is she? Yeah, uh, I flip up this mattress. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing underneath it. Just a, a, a sagging bed frame. I will flip up this mattress as well. But, yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. I go over to Rixana and I shove mm -hmm. a doll in her face and I say, look, a tiny person. <laughs> <laughs> I will try my hand at Arcana too, because I'm so good at it. Um, Bear, yes. Oh, uh, even better. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. It is it's a, really um, a tiny person. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, it? Bear, yes. You believe that a third ring needs to be affixed to the Summer Star um, with. Uh, runes similar to those on the first two rings. Uh, you think that's that's the primary problem. Um, I'm I'm saying all this assuming that you're not mm -hmm. actually like holding the summer star. If you're gonna pick it up oh, and, God, no. and handle it, I have other information to give. Okay, no. crazy magical item that I don't know much about. Fuck no, I'm not touching that. Other information to it, give man. you. <laughs> yeah, like what the DC of the con save is. I'm not spontaneously. I have combust. I have a whole big big handful of dice here full of Coward. other information. Coward. That's what he calls his dice. Coward. Hey, does it look like it's five pounds or more? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the summer star. Yeah, I mean it's a big chunk of rock. With it's five point one so probably. Pound. It's it's more it's more than five pounds. Yeah. What's this not golem that a uh, Runa found? There we go. Ooh. Um, you can tell that that was uh, a homunculus. Um, and your guess is that when its master died, presumably the charred corpse in the main room, the homunculus mm -hmm. also died. Oh. Hmm. That's not a tiny man. That's a homunculus, which I guess, you know, the etymology would. I mean, it's a tiny man. <laughs> <laughs> and I just kind of blink and stare into space. <laughs> um, so I was wrong, but I was also right? No, you That's were just wrong. Like to me. But, uh, what she know? Hmm. That's I know. <laughs> So Kaylee, you you take mm -hmm. what remains you can and and bury them in a or pile rocks over them essentially out on the snow. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. You said there's charred papers or a charred book on the. Uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, this is almost another workshop room. Uh, is anything legible? Oh, the runes on the the rings are those. Can I tell what language that is? Or do they're I draconic runes. Um, oh, well, okay. Yeah, they're written in draconic. Um, so what do they? I can read draconic. You can. Okay. Yeah. Um, as far as you can tell, those runes are there to um, to they're they're kind of like a made in such a way or they're they're forming like an abjuration sort of spell not a spell but you know what i mean like they're they're made mm -hmm. to contain magical power mm. got it okay mm. okay <laughs> okay copper's letter letter says that uh it's probably three instead of two mm -hmm. it's got two rings Mm. What do you think he meant? I think it means we take the rings off. <laughs> rings for you opening that door. <laughs> yep, sure am. Don't cool. be wise. Um, as soon as you open this door, uh, your nose is hit with the sweet scent of wine, um, oh. and you can see you see four sealed frost-covered barrels in this room. Hmm. Okay. Um, are they big enough to, I mean, are they carryable? <laughs> are they small enough for me to lift one up? Are they, are they carryable they take... or rollable? Are they portable? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get they... this in a to-go cup? <laughs> uh, it would take both hands to carry it, and but you could load them. You guys have three dog sleds now, so you could load them onto one of your sleds. I'll just grab one. I'm not greedy. Okay. Um, Ricks, when you go over to the... I mean, yeah, move back in there. When you go over to grab one of the barrels, the door slams shut behind you. Okay. Um, I'm going to try the door. Um, so you open the door, and it, it starts to swing open, and then it slams shut again. Almost like, like you're starting to open it, and then it gets pushed closed. You know what I mean? What? Okay, I'll put the I'll put the barrel down and open the door. It opens up. <sighs> what kind of foul <laughs> wizardry is this? <laughs> this is a sober ghost. You can door off its hands. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave. <laughs> uh, Professor X pose, <laughs> and I try and detect thoughts in thirty feet. That's... <laughs> Because I do not like the, the look of that door spontaneously closing. <laughs> um, so basically, I can search for thoughts within 30 feet. So uh, that's like everyone except for Kaylee, I think. Sure. Yeah, so do I notice anything foreign? Um, yeah. Uh, you, you hear or you get a sense that there's... Uh, um, outside of the thoughts of your companions, yeah. uh, you get a sense that there's something thinking, um, what are they doing? Why are they here? They're going to mess everything up. Hmm. All right. Uh, initially learned the surface thoughts. Uh, okay, well, that was an action to cast that, so I guess I have, like, another, you know, round before I could try to to, to hone in on that, that right. speaker, that thinker, rather. Mm -hmm. Has anyone been in this room yet? Uh, yep, that was the one that Runa went into. She found the homunculus in there. There's oh, right. also um, charred blueprints of, of various types scattered all over the room. Of, of what? Um, I'll take an Arcana check with advantage. Ooh. Ho ho! What's he getting? Um, you can tell that these are blueprints of various what you would guess to be previous stages of the Summer Star. Um, it looks like this individual has been designing this object for some time. Um, and these all seem to be, uh, yeah, leading up to its current design. Are there any... No so these are not fire damage, right? Um, oh no, I suppose those wouldn't be, did I say charred? They would just be like frost covered in there. Is there any notes on why the other versions failed? 
Um, from what you can tell, it just seems to be like, um, uh, in one case, like there was the wrong runes on the rings. Um, in another case, it was uh, the object wasn't the right size or wasn't the right shape. Um, in one version, didn't have rings at all. It had like studs um, that were pounded into the thing. Like there's a whole lot of different Does versions of it, the but they all. Is? Um, the core, that's a very good question. Um, the core, you can tell, okay. Oh, and Bear, I'm, I apologize, Bear, you would have learned this too when you were inspecting it. The core appears to be primarily coal, um, but there's also chardolin mixed into it. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I guess I'll like walk out of the room and say there's Charlene in there, like at the same time that Bear kind of notices the Charlene. <laughs> Why is this stuff everywhere we go? <laughs> well, I mean, we came here to see Mac, right? Mac, we're assuming is 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 now a charcoal brick. Bear, are you guys saying this out loud or like I am. act? You know, in actuality, okay. Because this affects if 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 the ghost of Mac or whatever I heard is it hearing Wait, that? Sorry, what? Then this affects his it, this affects his thoughts. So, yeah. You, know. you can hear ghosts now. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, I, th I think enough time has like another round, right, Nick? So uh, mm -hmm. I will attempt. Yeah, I'm gonna force the ghost to make a whiz save. Uh, yeah, DC fourteen. Uh, to to probe deeper into its mind. Okay. What do you yeah. mean, there's um, a ghost? Shut up. So, <laughs> so <laughs> you thoughts of another entity that isn't us. What else would you think it is? <laughs> so you, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Nessa, you hear. Um, suddenly it starts thinking. Uh, like, wait. Uh, maybe they're able to help. Maybe they can mm. finish it. Um, yeah, and. Yeah you see uh suddenly you hear the sound of the door to the first workshop the one that you went through the window you hear that door slam open against the wall slam shut and then slam open again after it yeah so i mean if, if we're kind of like in quasi initiative or whatever i, I sure. don't really know i I'll, I'll just treat it as that yeah i'll uh move 10 15, 20, 25 30. Uh, yeah, because I want to keep it in range, I guess. Mm -hmm. I like, um, like look at everybody else and like blink. <laughs> still around. Look for, I don't know, ghost stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so Runa, Runa is, Runa is very confused now um, mm -hmm. because uh, she may or may not even know what a ghost is, but she's genuinely she genuinely believes that there's someone else in the room that everyone else can see that she can't <laughs> so she starts just <laughs> like spinning around in place like walking in a circle like looking like where where i don't see where <laughs> <clears throat> um Okay. <laughs> so we'll follow <laughs> after Ness. <laughs> I mean, did, did you guys heard the the door slamming, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it could does, have been does this have to do with my wine? I think it does. I will follow. There. <laughs> Bear's much more concerned about the Shardlin right now. So, fuck ghosts. <laughs> Runa. Yeah. I think the ghost is this way. I follow. What's a ghost? <laughs> it's a person you can't um, see. It's like a per person minus the flesh and the skeleton and the muscles. <laughs> um, Nehesa, when you peek in the, the room there, 
you see underneath that table, mm -hmm. um, you see a bunch of like papers just kind of getting shuffled or blown about, uh, <laughs> but not from any wind that you can feel. Um, and you hear the sound of metal like slowly scraping along floor underneath that table, but you don't you don't see what's making that sound. Uh, I crouch down to look, or like I can't even see it crouching down. No, if you crouch down and look, yeah, like if you if you okay. inspect, you would yeah. see that there's a bunch of papers and blueprints, kind of like what was found in the laboratory. Those are being mm -hmm. pushed away, and underneath there is. Um, what looks to be the makings of a of another ring. It's not fully closed, and there's no runes on the outside. Um, but it's the same like thickness of metal, and it's the same distance and everything that those other two were. Um, and that's slowly like getting pushed along the floor until it's mm -hmm. eventually out and visible from underneath that table. Oh, okay, just like being pushed away. Uh, I mm -hmm. move over and grab it. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Or, so you pick it up. Yeah. Um, over here. Then. I'll step over yeah. and pick it up okay so you pick it up and we're a few minutes after eight so that's where we're going to take our quick break um mm -hmm. 15 20 minute break and we will be back to resume from there cool sure.
17. Hut, hut, hike. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> All right. Um, just before break, uh, Nehesa went into the workshop and recovered what looks to be the beginnings of a third ring um, for the Summer Star. And that's where we left off. So, what are you guys doing? Well, you said the papers were like swirling around the thing, the ring? Yeah. Well, it looked like they were getting like swept away from it to, to reveal ah. this thing. So now yeah. that I can actually hear people and talk. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I am going to. Uh, I am going to start uh, kind of exploring around and seeing, because I don't know that Ness has found this. I'm going to see if I can find any evidence that they knew that the Summer Star was incomplete or if they were just fucking around with something they didn't understand sure okay um there's the letter from copper that uh yeah. that they read and then there's mm -hmm. also the blueprints in the laboratory so there is stuff that yeah okay. bear pokes around for a little bit i didn't hear about look. the blueprints oh sure yep yep uh the blueprints yeah. show the summer star across various stages um from very early up to what it looks like now uh, and but like cross-referencing those blueprints with the letter and with that sort of stuff, you'd be able to determine that, yeah, a third ring you think would be able to help stabilize this thing. Okay. What would that also be? Spirit or whatever. Um, the thoughts. Uh, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Yeah. Um. So when Nehesa uh recovers that that metal band, um. Mm -hmm you basically get a sense that like um uh of like uh accomplishment like you get this sense of like joy and like yes like all right uh they found it good good um and then yeah that's that's about all that you hear at this point okay uh it seems too dangerous to mess with this stuff it didn't seem to work before. Who are you talking it, to? It worked. I'm it I'm mock way. mock acting for the ghost. Oh. Let's see what he <laughs> but uh no, I mean I, I will, you know, have converse. You know, we can talk. I'm just keeping yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. a well, mental ear out for the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not in front of the ghost. That was <laughs> for a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell everyone else it, and has to has something. Yeah. Uh, make my way with the ring. Uh, yeah. Back through the window. Uh, look, it's the, uh, you know, maybe this could be something. So, so Bear, yeah, the object that yeah. you've seen that has holding looks similar to one of the rings that's already on there, but it's not formed. It's not mm -hmm. attached and it doesn't have the runes on it. Okay. Uh, Bear kind of holds out his hand. May I see that? Uh, I suppose. Are the runes identical on each ring? Because that might that be a problem. Be they question. are. They're not identical. There's like the the in, the second one, the outer one, has mm -hmm. the same runes that are on the inner one plus some extras. Mm. Um, so it would be a skill check to determine what goes on the third. You know what I mean? from someone who can speak whatever language they're in. It's draconic. draconic. Yep. Which I do not speak. I do, but it's not a language, it's more of a formula. It's it's about containing the rock. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And the rock is coal and shardlin, which mm -hmm. we know shardlin is bad. <laughs> I never like to Has be that the been voice announced of, that it's uh, I never like to be the voice of reason, but maybe that's something we could work on somewhere else. What? Uh, yeah. over the mm -hmm. edge of a gorge. Yeah, let's Yeah. Go. Yeah. <laughs> we we don't have any real reason to remain here at this point. No. Nope. Mm, this person seemed to be a, you know, at least sort of capable artificer or wizard or something. Maybe they had some other notes, you know, hidden away somewhere that could give us some insight. And you're speaking to them? I, 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 so I'm speaking aloud, and then based on, like, the detect thoughts description, it says that, like, you know, anything that they hear is, you know, you can hear them processing. And oh, input, sure. Yeah, like, input shapes the output, basically. But I don't know how much of this is like just like he's an actual poltergeist or an entity or something. The fact right. that the spell worked on him seems like it's not just like some ambient effect. Right. But mm -hmm. we don't have like a cleric or someone that can, you know, speak with the dead or anything. So uh, everything like you don't notice this presence at all, like beyond uh -huh. like after you found the that part of the, the ring okay. or that that ring. Um, however, when. The suggestion mm -hmm. comes up, um, well, let's, we can do this somewhere else. Um, mm -hmm. Suddenly, pieces of glass that are on the floor seem like they get kicked around. Um, and one of, like, a broken chair in the corner gets, like, thrown up against the wall and everything like that. Um, and Nehessa, in your head, um, mm -hmm. you're hearing, no, no, it won't work anywhere else. It has to be here. It has to be here. Why does it need to be here? Or why would it need to be here? Uh, and then yeah. you hear like, uh, it's, and then you, you basically get the sense that it's starting many different thoughts and stopping yeah. and, and going back. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but eventually it just lands on, um, it, it's never worked anywhere, but here. So, uh, <laughs> if I may interrupt okay. briefly, um, yeah. Nahesa looks like she's talking to herself. Mm -hmm. So Runa, just... very excited. <laughs> Very, very excited. Walks like runs up to Nehessa and is like, "Oh my! Can you hear Tessa's voice too?" <laughs> I I was so lonely. Oh no! <laughs> How insistent are you? I'm like in your oh, face. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make a con I mean, oh, I lose concentration. I think. Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Awesome. Huh. Uh, yeah, so I guess, like, if I, if I was hearing, like, the overlapping thought, and then it, mm -hmm. you know, I realized that I dropped it. Uh, I'm so happy I'm not the only one. There's really no one else like you. 
we can, we can, uh, <laughs> we see like the vein in uh, Nahesh's temple, like, oh. yeah, yeah, <laughs> anime storm cloud appears over Nahesh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I get the cross of anger thing, on the little yeah. hatch mark. Uh, all right, Mac seems convinced that this thing could only be completed here. It is a workshop slash, you know, whatever other tools he's got here. Uh, Could fix it? The, if, if you can help me out with the, the runes, I, in mm-hmm. theory, can fix it, yes. Uh, how do we feel about setting up camp here and working on this for a bit? I mean, I don't think camp will be too much of a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess. Uh, yeah. I guess I. Uh, yeah. I, I'm cool if we want to spend some time time and try and fix it here. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, um. So it will take multiple hours. Uh. To do sure. so. Sure. Um. But what I'm going to need are a uh an a check with Smith's tools, and I'll I'll say intelligence to form the ring to finish the ring. Um, mm-hmm. And a check with Arcana um, to inscribe the runes. Um, and those, like I said, those are going to take place over multiple hours, so we can also do a close quarters scene here real quick as well, um, since yeah. presumably there's only mm-hmm. two of you that can work on it at a time, and not at the same time, because the ring can't be formed and inscribed simultaneously, sure. you know what I mean? So it would be like if I work want... on the formula and writing out the, you know, figuring out the runes, and Bear is like putting the thing together, right? Mm-hmm. And, yeah, then, and then, yeah, and then, yeah, and then going to be able to inscribe it, right? Who's going to be the best inscribe person? Whoever yeah, has I, um, Tinker's tools would probably be the best. Or, probably um, be or yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, so do why we don't just we want to say that, like, we, Bear and I match for this scene. It seems like a given. Oh, I'm fine with that. Yeah, we yeah, do yeah, it that way. Close quarters roll. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And then the other four of you, if you want to. Select your token, click the close quarters macro, and we'll see what else we get. Oh boy, a six and a one again. <laughs> oh, good. Nice. <laughs> and uh, if you sorry. select your token, Ian. Oh, no, there, there it is. <laughs> it's been a while now. No, that's yeah, fine. I got fine. Oh my gosh, three sixes. <laughs> Well, I don't see that. Uh, I don't see yeah, it either. Neither do I. Ian's ch- oh, oh, there it is. It yep, there it is. Oh, it just took <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> okay. Um, I thought you meant that. So you this got is sign of the devil. <laughs> so Rick's um, who I got who got the next highest after Rick's is Runa. So we have Rick's and Runa, and then Kaylee and Leif. What a surprise. <laughs> and so, and then like and then like uh, Kay said Nessa and mm-hmm. Bear. So whoever has an inspiration for this scene. It's all pretty positive. Um, suggested positive, so. <laughs> suggested. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm going to take, the, we'll I'm gonna take our sixes that. as meaning <laughs> that Rune is particularly lucid uh, during this period of time and not um, acting strange. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got something for us at least. Sure. Uh, do you want to start then? Or uh, yeah. So okay. while Bear is working on the band, mm-hmm. kind of pauses for a moment. So why draconic? What made you learn that language? Uh, that's what I spoke as a child. Is it your parents that? that spoke it? Is it your native mm-hmm. language? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not a dragon. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, I would say it's pretty important to my people. I, I have my tongue stuck out as I'm like, right, you know, concentrating, you know, <laughs> like hunched over the, the desk or whatever. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not so strange yep. of a language to learn, is it? How often do you speak Cory? 
speak Cori? People traditionally speak Cori. Is that not the case? Oh, uh, out in out in where I grew up, we didn't really we didn't really follow many norms, so to speak, and we just didn't really have a name for the language. It was just what everybody spoke because, well, to use the the terms of the the water deep people, I came from the sticks. Mm-hmm. I was raised in a tiny household and the nearest village we had had all of five families in it. So it's not really something, languages are not something I'm well versed in. Something I'm interested in, but don't really know much about. And I'll be honest, you are the first of your kind I have run into. It's an interesting notion. What? <laughs> What is the default shape of our thoughts, isn't it? It's something we don't even it's pay attention to, isn't it? No, it's something that only first occurred to me when I ran into something not of our plane and realized that its thoughts were nothing like ours and the language it spoke was something completely alien. It wasn't just unknown. It was almost in, uh, incomprehensible. So you said this is more like a formula than a, a language, at least these in this case. Yeah, it's this. These don't so much make words. It's um, you know, it's the process of. Well, you identified it. You recognize, you know, the field of study. It's it's a abjuration. Yeah. So it has to do with keeping that rock in place, lest it lash out, as it apparently did. Uh, disconcerting, to say the least. Mm-hmm. I I I'm going to be honest. I am not a fan of this place. The you said there's something here i saw evidence of it i deal in science in concrete forms and mathematics spirits and ghosts not my thing what is a ghost if not just another extra planar entity that's fair so i'm not entirely grounded here not saying they don't exist (laughs) just saying not something that I am equipped to deal with. Mm-hmm. And Barrel go back to working on the the ring. Okay. Yeah. I think I just continue writing then. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, I see uh, Ian had to jump off. So Leif and Kaylee, are you two set? Uh, yeah, so I'll follow out and um, see where Kaylee has got to because she's been AWOL and noticed that you're um, building the camp. Yeah, can... is, is, is this actually, have you actually written this on the stuff? <laughs> <What's up>? No. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's fine. Um, um... Yeah, so uh, Kaylee is probably fi- just finishing up the cairn because it's been taking you guys a while. Um, yeah, she's probably pretty warm. She's not used to carrying big, heavy rocks and whatnot, so uh, she might not have her hood on like usual or whatnot. So, um, but yeah, sorry, I should have helped. <laughs> no, that that's okay. Uh, this is this is what I do. I'm gonna like find a smaller stone. Uh, from the ones that you've you've put on, and I'm going to start like 
sit down and start like flint napping a little rune in it. Oh, cool. To go on the top. So I'm a little worried about the the experiment that's going on in the in there. Like if they get that wrong, it could end up the same as what happened to the him and like nod at the camp. Uh well, I certainly hope I won't have to build more of these today. Well, I'm less worried about you having to build more of these and more are we gonna you know, be able to count on you if the cabin catches fly? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? You've seemed rather reticent in the past. Uh, well, I'm reticent now, but uh, sometimes you have to face your own demons, right? <clears throat> True. So what is the... What is it? Yeah, because uh... it's happened before. Yeah. I don't talk about it too often, but uh, there was when I was growing up in my village uh, some people came and burned it to the ground. I was trapped inside and uh, I couldn't get out. I'm not even sure how I got out. So ever since then It's been I mean, rough. that's understandable, but you're, you seem to be coping better with it, the, not that we go around setting fire to things on purpose, um, <laughs> but you seem to be coping better with it than, than the boat. Was it the boat that was, where was the first fire thing? Was it the Mephits? It was the Mephits, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because the whole town, the, the whole bit, all the buildings were on fire. Yeah. That was actually right. pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. After that, it's just been, uh, yeah, uh, bear setting campfires or whatever, and usually when I'm not right next to it. So. Oh, that's right. <laughs> this bear's like, <laughs> bear's usual combat MO. <laughs> well, maybe we'll just stay outside. Just, just in case they don't quite... Not that I don't trust Bear and Nehesa, but... Um, I don't trust Bear and Nehesa. <laughs> I, I think Kaylee just nods at that. <laughs> and then we can end scene. <laughs> sure. Nice. Nice. All right. Uh, Rix and Runa. Um, do you have anything in mind, Ian? Because I have, I have ideas, but I wanted you to have... <laughs> Respect. Uh, no, not anything really pressing. I think throughout this whole process, um, Runa would probably find Rick's kind of outside and like kind of um, guarding on guard, but it's really just an excuse to kind of walk around and brood a little bit. She's been a little more broody than usual lately. <laughs> I lost a fight once. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> um okay i think runa will come outside and like in in like link's form and like prance around in a circle around rixana playfully and then when she realizes that like Rick rixana is not in a mood to play <laughs> she shifts back to normal and and says um i'm I'm sorry if I've been different. I different is okay. Um, I, I get the sense it's not. <laughs> Everyone else looks at me strange. True, but have you seen everyone else? I mean, <laughs> it's not exactly a very normal group. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, no, I don't know. I mm. I feel like I don't know what's normal anymore. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, I kind of feel that too, in a way. Um, I keep feeling like 
trying to find a way out of this place, out of Icewind Dale, so we can um, get out of here and figure some things out. But I feel like no matter what, I keep getting stuck here and with these people for some reason, and I can't figure it out why. The last time I was stuck with someone, they told me there was no way out, and then you found me. Hmm. Maybe we'll find a way out? Maybe. Do you, do you want to? I know I asked you this before, but do you want to keep staying with these people and still do the things that we have to do? She thinks about it for a while, just kind of pondering it, and then says, I don't know what I would do anyway. And they seem nicer than who I was with. I kind of get that idea, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't mind. Staying, I mean. Do you remember what happened after, like, Rick seems like she's hesitant to bring up what she's going to say next, but do you remember what we talked about after we fought that big skeleton creature lich <laughs> thing? <laughs> you know, that, 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 that thing. All of that. <laughs> Yeah. And does that change at all you wanting to to stick around because the longer we stay with these people it seems like more and more we're going to have to play this game that's not a game if you know what I mean. She nods and she says um i i want to learn more and i get the feeling if i stay i will okay that that actually makes me feel better and if i can be honest with you the truth is even if we went off on our own just knowing what I know about myself, I don't know if we'd be avoiding that either, <laughs> to be honest. I, I, I kind of don't know much of anything else other than that game that's not a game. You should know it might not be safe to be around me. If that's true, then I'm glad that there's others here who can defend us. Yeah, I I kind of often think others aren't safe around me either, so I think we have that in common. Good. She nods. <laughs> so, we're the same. <laughs> and I, I think... Uh, unless you have anything else you want to add, I think that's a good place. Yeah, to I think that's a good end. Cool. That's like on your guys' family crest. Probably not safe around me. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Our family crest is just a person screaming on fire. <laughs> <laughs> a big oh, warning. Sorry. Fam family words uh, <laughs> maintain 15 feet minimum safety. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, so if I can get an arcana check from Nehessa, okay. followed by a um we'll do you can do well no, you're proficient with a bunch of tools. So yeah, just a uh, an intelligence check with proficiency from Bear. Um for the okay. Um for the inscribing of the runes and the forming of the ring to make sure that everything is Ship shape. All right, nice. When did a form of a ring YouTube. ever go badly? Hmm. <laughs> this is a look. It's a gift. Right? All right. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Flashback. As soon as I emerged from that room with the ring, I held it up and said, "Look, it's a gift." 
<laughs> it took you guys, it took you. All right. So, and that whole process probably took about four to five hours. Mm -hmm. um, so if I can get uh, you all to position your tokens where you would be at the point when Bear is ready to attach it to the Summer Star. Can I have the other Overland map up so I can put myself at Terminate? <laughs> I'm back at Bryn Shander. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be outside just in case the building catches fire. I'm going to be at the table, <laughs> and I am going to look at everybody, and uh, Bear is going to say, yeah, <laughs> you might want to uh, back up to a safe distance. <laughs> All right. Is everybody positioned where they want to be? Uh, cool. Okay. Yep. Okay. Actually, I'll be by hold door. on. I okay. I'm, I might be by Bearkin just to keep him calm. <laughs> If anything happens. <laughs> yeah, that's why. I like to, I like suddenly I like look to the cabin, look back yeah, to keep him calm. You you turn there's him around so he's facing away from the cabin so he can you can just There's this like dust silhouette of of Kaylee <laughs> next to me. Yeah. Well, no, I mean mm -hmm. if it blows All right. up, fire it up. Yep. Not literally, but <laughs> 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 okay, so um Bear, uh the Summer Star uh has been sitting on the table this whole time. Um since you guys mm -hmm. arrived, like no nobody's picked it up and and handled it or anything. So Bear, when you take it to attach the ring to it, um I once you grab it. the the ring to like the outer rings to pull it closer, um you see that the core starts to glow. Um and that glowing is growing brighter and brighter. What do you do? I'm going to continue working as fast as I can do and maintain accuracy. Okay. Um, I need from Bear and everyone within 10 feet of Bear to give me a constitution saving throw. Yep, I figured. Is this I think that includes you too, right? Magical I, effect. Ending because I I haven't moved since the close since before the closed quarter scene. Mm -hmm. Um, you yeah. haven't. No, I did ask twice if everyone was positioned yeah. where they wanted I, to be. I apologize. Okay, well, <laughs> is, is this magic or not? I. Um. Yes, this would be a magical effect. Oh, thank God. And I shouldn't have bless on there. That that was checked. I should only sure. be eleven. Jesus okay. Christ! All right. <laughs> okay um all right well uh bear you um valiantly try to keep mm -hmm. working uh um however this the flaring brightness of the summer star does not abate and eventually there is an explosion of radiant force uh and it is going to hit you guys for oops helps if i type that right hang on um, you know what? We're going to go like this. Okay, um, so it hits everybody. Nahessa and Bear, you guys failed the Constitution saving throw, so you're going to take... The, the two people that actually knew what they were doing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys are going to take 72 radiant damage. Oh, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to absorb elements that <laughs> probably a good idea. <laughs> so I can survive. Wait, did, did you, you say it's radiant? Radiant. Radiant. Yeah. Radiant. Yeah. 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 I'm dead. Oh, it doesn't. Radiant. It's not an element. Acid, cold, and... fire, lightning, or thunder. Hey, who Runa... attuned to the resist radiant ring? <laughs> Runa and Rix, you guys take 36 Wait, yeah, radiant we... damage. Ooh, I'm out. Did? Dude, I'm unconscious. Bad. I'm also <laughs> unconscious. Yep. <laughs> I think we're um, dead. Well, I, mean, I definitely am, but... So, yeah. I'm just a picture, we're outside watching it all of a sudden, all of the lights, like, explode, <laughs> like, all of the windows, like, explode, and I'm like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Time to find a new part. He's a grease <laughs> Pick up my backpack and walk away. No. <laughs> so, was there a boom, or was it just that... Uh... Uh, there wasn't a sound, no, it was just this flare of bright, and you guys, yeah, it would have, like, you would have seen like, it, even like, if you're facing like, away from it. 
It's like a nuclear bomb going off. It's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty pretty large. Um, uh, and then following that, Leif and Kaylee, you guys don't hear, and other than the sound of the summer star hitting the floor, you don't hear any sound inside the, the cabin. <laughs> yeah. I think. Um, as long following as that. Uh, okay. Rix and Runa, you two are just unconscious, but Nahessa mm -hmm. and Bear, um, your guys' bodies are incinerated. All of your, <laughs> all of your magic items and everything just fall to the floor unharmed. Oh, cool. Um, get those. However, <laughs> did they just, wait, did they just Scott Pilgrim <laughs> turn into coin? I'm throwing <laughs> dust in the wind, man. However, you two, Bear and Nahessa, um, you guys materialize on the border ethereal, uh, and what? you guys see each other as um, as spectral versions of yourselves. So the forms that you guys responded to me in Discord with was that Barry, you're pretty much your normal self. You're only much more scarred um, and and battle worn. And Nehessa, you are more more of a snake like version of of your normal self. So your spirits are here, um, and not only that, but you two can see uh basically as you like realize that you can see each other and you can see everyone else too um mm -hmm. but you get the sense that they can't see or hear you yeah, um sure. and after a moment you see this other spectral person he's really just a big head like his 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 <sighs> spectral image is just his head but it's the size of his body um and he's he's over there uh and he can see you too now he's like God. he's like you shouldn't have touched it he's like as soon as you touch it i have an attack this dude yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah running tackle him i don't have a snake form stat line but uh yeah you tell me what i need to roll uh, there's no roll so when you're <laughs> yeah no i'm all this dude <laughs> yep, okay so your spirit uh goes right through his um and he just kind of laughs, and he's like, are you kidding? He's like, there's nothing we can do here. He's like, we gotta hope that they can figure this out. We were the smartest ones there. <laughs> like, and I'm sorry, friend. I continue to try and, like, slash at the, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 you say uh -oh. he looks like a, just a big head, so this is like um that cat toy that's like the furry ferret on the ball, you know? <laughs> See, so and, and it just like rolls around that's exactly it like <laughs> yeah if i'm like a long snake i'm like wrapped around trying to you know and he's like just would you just get, come on, just like just stop it like he's like look he's like i don't know if there's a way that you can figure out to 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 get the message to them he's like then do it but stop trying to and he's he's like his head's floating and moving out trying to get out of the way of of nahessa's yeah. mm -hmm. snake barrage bear what are you doing <laughs> Uh, Bear is literally trying anything and everything that he can think of as a way to communicate with the other side, so to speak. Okay. Um, Bear, I'll take a raw charisma check. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, man, <laughs> well, we'll you see. picked the right people to send to the ethereal plane. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> send them to charisma realm, yeah. So, so Bear, you get the sense that, like, you're not able to now, but you do remember that that stuff was getting pushed and moved around. Um, so you know that there is a way that limited interaction can happen. Um, but you're not confident that that you're capable enough to do that at this point. You said just a, a whole charisma lot check. Yep, just a raw charisma roll. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no advantage on that. So that'll be a, a one minus one. Oh, nice. That's a two minus one. Yeah, that is a solid, solid one right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So we're we're gonna snap our attention back over to the land of the living, as Kaylee and Leif storm into the cabin to find their two of their companions down and unconscious, and the other two are piles of dust and magic items. <laughs> yeah, I I'm guess gonna drag. Kaylee... Uh, Rick's on it outside. Yeah. Okay. Kaylee steps in the door, sees the piles of ash, and she just stops for a second. And then goes to uh, to Runa and immediately... Maybe uh, it's like the Adam West Batman. We just have to rehydrate them. Yeah. Immediately <laughs> heals her. Sure. Um. Okay. Are you casting... Oh, there it is. Okay. 
Yay. All right, so Runa gets six hit points. The unconscious people. Um. Okay. <laughs> um. So yeah, Runa. Runa will wake up, look around, very confused, and like, you know, lock her gaze onto Rixana and immediately head over there. Okay. Where is this thing? The Summer Star is in the space right in front of Bear, so it's probably landed on the floor next to the table there. Is it fixed? No, the the third ring is not attached to it. <laughs> he had just started, like, he had just picked right, it okay. up and it was activating. I wasn't sure mm -hmm. if it had, like, it had been, the on switch had been left on when it was... Nope. Um, however, looking at it now, it looks totally inert and without, like, you don't see any sign of it glowing or anything like they, like when he had grabbed it. But the ring is completely unattached. The new ring. Correct. So the third ring is also on the floor, separated. <laughs> well, it's your turn. Attach it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, back to the border ethereal. Um, Mac is like, look, he's like, He's like, there's there's still hope. He's like, I'm here because this thing, because of this. He's like, I devoted the last six months of my life to this thing. He's like, I know, I can feel it, that once this thing's completed, I'll finally be set free. He's like, all we got to do is get them to complete it. He's like, all we got to do is think about how we can communicate to them mm -hmm. to finish this thing. I'm screaming this, uh, but I'm not going to in actuality. Uh, I don't want to sure. be set free. I spent five hours on it, and I'm <laughs> trapped here, you oh, no! fucking I idiot. Spent months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's yeah, like, fine. Look, look, like, yeah. then... Where's the little? Where's the little person? Where's the homunculus? It, I, I, he I don't know. I haven't. He's been inert. I thought your friend grabbed him. I didn't. And he looks yeah, no, up so Yeah, I, I, I'm looking around the other, you know, realm like the, mm -hmm. the material plane mm -hmm. where uh and i'm gonna go try and like burrow into it or something <laughs> into the like the object, into the homunculus the... uh <laughs> you know the clay shell sure give me a charisma check oh god <laughs> well a thousand monkeys and a thousand typewriters <laughs> all right nope unfortunately it's not good enough not um, good enough however, to what nick to burrow into the <laughs> The homunculus to assume control of the homunculus. Uh -huh. However, where is is the homunculus on Runa right now? Is it on the floor? I I remember taking it. I remember like shoving it in Rixana's face and being like, "It's a little person." And then I don't think anything mm -hmm. happened to it. So I, I guess I still have it. Okay, um, Runa, you feel the homunculus like shake a little bit in your pack. Um, I take it out and I examine it and i'm like what like i'm talking to it <laughs> <laughs> and when max sees that happen he's like yes he's like like that he's like if you focus and, and if you if you really try you can really and he's looking around and, and all of a sudden like he his head goes over to a piece of glass and he he blows with his mouth and the glass slides across the floor he's like it's not much he's like but this is this is about all that we can do So he's completely intangible. Correct. You all yeah, three of you oh, are. Yep. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know. Cure wounds. Is anyone going to get Rixana up? Yeah, I, I will. It, it took me. I'm assuming we're still sort of in uh, pseudo action. I mean, no. You can go oh. ahead and do that now. That's okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh uh, shit. Okay. Uh, does Bear's little yak back trinket, his artificer thing, does that count as a magic item? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I don't know. I can't I, I can look it up. I think anything he does infusions on are magic items. I think it ends if he dies, though, but I don't know for certain. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Well, I would rule well, I'll, that... I'll check. I'll just check Artificer. It's just... but even you, if, you guys got it. it up right... Yeah. Oh, you got even, it. I'm even if it, it right ends now. on death, like the damage would have been done to the object and his body at the same time. So I would say that even if it's a mundane item now, it would still be present. You know what I mean? Because it was magic when the damage was done. Mm -hmm. 
They mm. touch a tiny non-magical object and give it the following magical properties. Hmm. You can give the magic of this feature to multiple. I, 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 I don't know. That seems well, like it's he said it would be here. Just, yeah, if if, if so. it's there, like, can mm -hmm. we try it? If we can interact with it, can we try and make it play a sound or whatever it was programmed to do? Yeah, you could potentially do that with charisma uh, checks. Yep. Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Nahessa goes right through the floor. So this is going to be a long <laughs> scene, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. That's zero. Kaylee okay, yeah. is slowly gathering what she can. <laughs> <laughs> like a bunch of rocks. <laughs> of, uh, of the remains. Well, I got doggy bags. Are you dusting up our bodies? Uh, she's not. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think Rix would have no reason to think they're still alive in ghost form. Right. But she knew there was a ghost around before, and it got activated when she picked up wine. So she's going to run to the wine room and check <laughs> up a barrel and see what happens. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to come up with an in-character excuse to, think, to do the thing I want to do. So sure. basically, Runa follows Rixana and, and says, uh, what, what, are you, what are you looking for? Well, Nahessa said there was a ghost around, and it seemed to get activated when I picked up the wine, so I'm going to see if we can talk to that ghost again and figure out what happened. Oh, so... ghost, the thing that's there, but it's not there. Right, yeah. and she walks back into the room, and I'm going to try casting Fairy Fire and see if that can outline them. Um, okay. So I'll act, add it in chat, and I'll just pick... I don't know where they are technically, mm. so I'm just going to do it kind of around the table because that's like right. the last time I saw them. Basically, like around where the last time I saw them. And it, is that no? So now, Fairy Fire, you cast in an area, and it's while they're in right. that area. Okay. Um, no, no the, it, the outline will follow them once they oh, leave that okay. area. Perfect. But the initial, it's like a burst. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say that that is, let's see, affected creature. Well, you're able to get, you're able to get, you're able to get two of them, um, depending on if you place it on your side of the table or the far side of the table. You know what I mean? I would put it where Nahessa and Bear were standing the last time I saw them. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then Nahessa and Bear would both be outlined. All right. Um, and when Rixana like runs across the room towards the wine the wine storage room, Max head turns around. He's like, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Stop it. He's no, oh, that's, that's my wine. <laughs> um, awesome. <laughs> so, so not... you see like the outline of basically bear and then the outline of like a big, there's like, you dancing, know, walking castle light. dragon looking thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And bear in just mm -hmm. anger and frustration is going to, Attempt to slam his fists down on the table. Probably do nothing. But I'll take. Uh, you can make the charisma check with advantage now. Oh, okay. <laughs> for, the, uh, for the visibility. Hmm. Or it might be the emotion. Okay. Um. So. <laughs> so. <Another> disadvantage. Runa, <laughs> so Runa, you cast fairy fire, um, and mm -hmm. you see their forms, and then you see Bear slam his hands down, and the table like it doesn't flip up because he's not he's not able to interact with it that strongly but it's enough to make the table definitely shudder it like wobbles um, ooh, ooh, yeah question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Question. uh in okay. that room back here is there a pottery wheel <laughs> a wheel excuse me okay, someone <laughs> there is not no have you justin have you watched community have you seen yes, that I, the, yes. I love community <laughs> Get out! I had one rule! <laughs> um, but, so Bear, you know, slams down on the table and it just kind of wobbles, and uh, Runa will walk up to the outline of Bear and say, Oh, hello, Bear. What's... Why are you angry? Is everything okay? You Why are you being okay? white? He's, he's a ghost. You keep saying that. <laughs> I don't understand. 
his his spirit is is here, but his body isn't. His body is scattered all over the room. Uh, is oh. that ash in the fireplace? That sounds like it hurts. Yeah. Uh, in the one that was used, yeah, in the bedroom. Oh, the bedroom one. Oh, mm -hmm. Damn it. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, in the ash that was bare is currently being swept up by Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I will try and, and, you know, trace some letters into the ashes, I guess, since you're looking directly at it. Sure. I'll take a charisma check with advantage. Cool. All right. So three versus... Ah, bad. fuck you. There you go. Wow. Have... What, what message are you tracing? Go ahead and write it in chat. We're still here. Did anyone have ah. the Hesse fingers bear on the what's going to happen this evening bingo? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would be the free square in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I mean, you look different. Uh, okay, yeah, so... so... Bear kind of tilts its head. Since Hi, you can see his outline. So, Is there um, anything we can do? Yeah, I have no idea what to do here. My training did Bear not was train watching me this to... thing when it happened, and she'll walk over to the thing, but she'll not touch it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to your, 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 say, um, pour, pour out all the wine. No, no, no. Kayla, so, you have your calligraphy stuff, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll put out the calligraphy stuff. If they want to write oh. messages, they can write messages. Did, did Wizards of the Coast play... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Stretch. What's what's that game? Uh, Plasmophobia. Oh, oh Phasmophobia, yeah. Phasmophobia. Oh, God. Before writing this, because this is we're, we're in Phasmophobia. Uh, uh, right that game now. was not. Oh, hard. really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, if we have an implement that they are observing directly, and we're very fired. Mm -hmm. Like, is it still a test to continue to manipulate that? No, object? I would say for this, for this, no. Okay. All right. Sweet. Step one: pour out all of this moron's wine. <laughs> Step two: that just sounds oh, spiteful. <laughs> it is. Right. Okay. <laughs> it is. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um. Lave <laughs> says that sounds spiteful, and like suddenly an, an underline goes under. Yeah. Pour out the wine. It, it, yeah. Like... <laughs> mm-hmm. With an um, point, like, <laughs> step two. Kaylee does not know much about Arcana, so she thinks that this is a literal yeah, thing that we need yeah. to do. Kaylee uh, and Runa are like desperately pouring rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I can't lift a cask to save my life, so it's, uh, that's I, I turn into a bear and I just knock it over. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, so, while, yeah, what, while what that's else? happening, yeah. Bear is trying to make notes of all of his observations about mm -hmm. what, you know, what went into the summer star and what might have gone wrong. I mean, just. Okay. Uh, yeah. Like a typical scientist, just notes everywhere. Mm -hmm. Um. So Mac, uh, once he like realizes that Rick's has kind of given up on the wine starts to come out, and then if Runa in bear form is charging... Because you're large, right? I forgot I forgot that I'm large. Yeah. Oh, God. You can squeeze. Oh, yeah, are you gonna, are you gonna charge into the wine storage room? Oh, yeah. Oh, am I gonna fall? Um, I'll need a dex save. The whole room oh, is yeah. probably oh. gonna go... Cook but you oh, can... God. But Let's I'll let it. you make it with advantage because that you're you're taking up four squares and that's only half of one. You know what I mean? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. I also kind of tangentially know that that's a dangerous area because mm -hmm. I remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Fifteen. Sure. Okay, so as you're rushing forward, the floor does give way and collapse, and that is, like I said, directly over the cliff. So those floorboards go out, and your like back paw kind of goes down, and you you, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're you don't fall. You stay up. Okay. You stay Runa, on. The... Runa no. Runa no. <laughs> <laughs> Runa no. <laughs> All right. So so Bear continues to like scribble notes and and observations. I. Hmm. So Bear, are you doing that like with the calligraphy set? You're writing that all down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh all yeah. Right. Wait, so how do we, no, how do... Yeah, so Rix, can you explain exactly what happened? 
because we weren't here. Um, I was only half pay paying attention, but <laughs> all of a sudden I look up, there's a bright flash, and uh, then I'm waking up. Uh, okay. So something went terribly wrong, apparently. Okay. Uh, so, Mahesa, uh, Bear, if you could, is there anything that we can do here to help you back? Uh, do we know like what is there any way we would have the knowledge of like what happened to you know like what this phenomenon is you know um how about both of you give me an arcana check cool sounds oh, good their rolls weren't that low were they josh got 20 or what the f for your like your task. Yeah, man, I, I've had one roll over double in double digits. But four means not terrible either. Uh, no, it was pretty bad. At, like looking at plus six, yeah. Um, Why did it um, give me advantage when I don't have advantage checked off? I, well, you have advantage I toggle on from your other roll. No, no, I don't. Though I turned it off. Weird. Specifically when I um, Nahessa and Bear, the only guy, the only thing that you guys can come up with was that once Bear made physical contact with. The summer star that's what seemed to activate it so we have to add the ring without touching it i mean we don't know that if you can figure out a way to do that and yeah that might we'll do it. answer it but that's what i'm saying out loud <laughs> sure not in character right now because i'm a bear right um <laughs> <laughs> i mean i i guess i can shift back since I, I only yeah. turned into bear form to smash casks. <laughs> Did you so smash all the wine casks? Uh, all the she ones was I get prohibited. Yeah. The, yeah, I was prohibited from entering because of the floor. Right? Well, I mean, it, it didn't stop your forward momentum. You just, like, no, they, they told her to stop and it. she stopped. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, I yeah. Runa, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Runa, yes. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so I I will say that in character then, mm -hmm. um, like I I think we have to attach the doohickey without touching the other doohickey. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to make sense of Bear's notes, even though I'm the wrong person to do that. But uh, <laughs> that's what I have to go on. Uh, okay, so I'll okay. take. Uh... Um, I'll take I well, uh, I think it'd have to be Arcana. I think it'd have to be Arcana. Okay. All right. I'm assuming I'm ready. Twenty. What is happening? Okay. Wow. Nice. nice. Um so <clears throat> Rick's from what you can tell is that as long as the third ring is not attached, um, now that the Summer Star has been activated, um it's its power is going to overpower the the protections that are in place from the other two rings like regardless um so the only thing that you can think of rix is uh if there was some way for you to manipulate the ring and attach it in such a way that your hands you or anyone else's physical hands are not actually holding and and manipulating the ring so in other words Wait, Someone could the like ghost the do it? Levitate objects. <laughs> so I'll communicate. Levitate that objects. Or... Levitate objects. MJ probably wouldn't be um, fine tuning enough to do it. You know what I mean? Sure. But like yeah, Mage Hand? And, well, Mage Hand's a cantrip, so it wasn't written down. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but what Nahessa said can the ghosts do it? Um, we haven't actually it... tried interacting with it. True. That's true. Just yep. do it. Away from us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess, yeah, you see on the paper etched out, like, back up. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll go. Quick question. I'll you at least to... pick up the ring, right? Sure. You tried to possess the homunculus. Yeah. Could you actually use that to, to put it together? It's not a physical hand. I'm, I mean, that would be, you know, Nick saying, like, or, or we're just rolling long enough to eventually possess it or something, right? <laughs> Um, I would say that you can try, but the problem is the homunculus is like a doll. You know what I mean? And yeah. the summer star is 
it's big bigger than well, that i mean it's like a soccer ball size or something it looks what like. if we mm-hmm. need a bunch of dolls <laughs> You all, all right, so if, so if Nehessa and, and Bear <laughs> are going bear. to try and manipulate this, then mm-hmm. yeah, I want everybody to position themselves where they want to be. And out of the yeah. room. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> yeah. Do we know what the radius is? Um, it was 10 feet when I did it last time. I'm saying as a player, do we, or as a character. I mean, Rix and Runa would have, I think they would have known. Yeah, but I, sure. don't th- I don't think they got the chance to yeah, see. Yeah, so the, I, I was here explosion. when it was activated, and so there is like a Hiroshima, you know, or not in that room, but yeah, there's like a, a smear, you know, shadow on that wall. Like your shadow is burned into the wall, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and then Bear was here working on it at the thing. And it also didn't destroy the cabin, so, you know, that it's right. like roughly that shape, right? That's it. Yep. Okay, so I said that was here in As we're as we're all like space now, I like like just very quietly aside to Kaylee as we're like well, I, I, I'm like told you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, um, Kaylee's still sort of in shock. She's not really saying much because she still doesn't know. Yeah, they, they're gone. No so Nahessa really grabs the ring, mm-hmm. right? So I guess you see it moving in midair. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then. Yeah. Bear is going to have to grab the Summer Star. You can't get vaporized again. <laughs> <laughs> that we know of. <laughs> Can it get worse? I ask you. It'll be like Inception. It'll just keep going to deeper layers. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yeah, eventually we'll have to roll Charisma to interact with the ethereal plane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean... Hey, Head... What, what, what? Mac? My name's Mac. Yeah. Go help hold the orb. It's like, well, uh, and he rolls his eyes. Um, mm-hmm. And then he comes over and like, you don't see hands or anything. Like he's not like suddenly tiny little hands come out and grab it. Like, but it, you can tell that it's being stabilized um, and that he's, he's holding it aloft. Um, but it also seems like it's too big for him to, to manipulate and hold on his own. Um, so Surely he would need Bear's the help. Is that we need to vaporize more of us. So <laughs> have more to hold it up. All right. It would. It would. him working, holding it still with Bear was the. Oh idea. yes, yeah. If yeah. that's the case, uh, then well, yeah. I, I mean, are you cool with that, uh, Josh? Or Josh, can you hear us? Uh, yeah. Your Discord. Okay, he's cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's kind of cool. All right, so so Bear and and Mac are holding it aloft uh, while Nahetsa. Right. Yeah, I mean, I get my two hands and like try and throw it down, right? Yep. Um. So then, uh, yeah, uh, no, that won't. Either. Okay. Um. All right. Nahessa gets it affixed. The first thing that at least Kaylee can tell and Runa, because they're both still in the room, um, they don't see any sign of activity from this floating summer star and the ring being manipulated and attached mm-hmm. to it. Um, but once you get the well, third one intact and solid, um, then Bear and Mac set it down. Mm-hmm. And there's this moment where all three of you are standing there like spectrally, like staring at it. And Mac's like, hmm, I. I, I thought that would, I thought that'd be it. <laughs> I throw it through his head. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Runa and Kaylee, you see the summer star slam against the south wall and then fall to the floor <laughs> intact. Yeah. And he's like, well, get the, he's like, we can't do it. Get one of them to activate it now. Uh, we go over to the calligraphy, I guess. Mm-hmm. Just be like, turn it on. I don't know. We didn't. I, right? I I see the writing, and I just like look at the shape of Nahessa, and I say, "How?" And I then I walk over to the summer star, and I just go on. <laughs> <laughs> what do they have to do? He's like, just just pick it up and and concentrate on it. Just just think about about it turning on. Think about it working. He's like, but they have to physically grab it. They have to, they have to make contact with it. 
Hmm. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, hold so, on. I mean, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I'll, I'll wait a second, but yeah. Well, because hmm. Runa can't hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, can't yeah. hear that. So I'm like, I, I guess I'm making eye contact with the with bear. Like, all right. Because I, I feel like this exposes that person to considerable risk. Yeah. So. A little bit. What is Mac a human? Yes. Okay. He was. A human. He was a human. <laughs> now he's just a head. Well, he's just yeah. a head. Now he's yeah. he's Modok. <laughs> now uh, Modok. <laughs> it's got to be yeah. The calligraphy yeah so it shows up. Humans got to pick it up. <laughs> oh, I bet our our cameras. It's okay. We should we should have the technical difficulties slide, right? Oh, no, 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 That's no. just the right. It's just be, right. So everybody's in a frame. Everyone's in the wrong frame. So I yeah. Just, so I just, just rotated. Kaylee grabs the orb. Uh, you want me to grab it? No, no, no. I'm 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 in your frame. So I'm playing Kaylee now. So I grab the. Oh, okay. Skip. <laughs> <laughs> you switch us to just the technical slide. Did, so okay. I'm gonna walk over to the the broken part of the floor and jump up and down. Okay. You're gonna like here? No. Huh? No. I, I no. Since Dave was joking that we possess, or, you oh. know, we, we control whoever <laughs> we've rotated. I see. I see. So I, as Leif, walk over to the the broken deck. <laughs> Swan dive. Just dive out the window. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, we are, we are all back. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So were you writing? What we need to yeah. do. Yeah, wrote a human yeah. must pick it up, right? Yeah, but now that I think about it, I cross off human. Someone, one of you has to pick it up. Kaylee, you come out of the room. Uh, okay. Because uh, if anything happens, hey. you're the only person that can heal anybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who has the uh, the ring? No one. Well, uh, it's a. Like, it's just well, like no, 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 no. The ring of radio shelf, resistance, right? but no, we, yeah, yeah, ring of radio oh, we would have known that it's a ring of. Right, we didn't know it was radiant damage, though, right? We did know what it was. Well, yeah, we didn't know. Oh, do we know that this was radiant damage? I did yeah, say I, that when I, I applied it. Well, yeah. no, 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 like in in, in character. Oh, saying. Rix and Runa did... would know. They would know. Yeah. <laughs> They're okay. just all. Yeah, but I, I don't think anyone or... actually attuned it. But one no, of us no one did. I will. I That's what I was like. I don't think anyone used it. When are we ever gonna get No, we never did because yeah, this did not seem like a radiant damage. You know, yeah, radio right, damage right, is stupid. Campaign. Right. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I guess you guys have like I, whatever, I, however long to attune it. Yeah, so I'll, here I, you go, Leif. I will attune the ring of radiant resistance, however long that takes. All right. Um, I yeah, will don no. the 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 rubber glove ring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, everyone, position where you want to be in accordance to Leif. I'm so trying to see if there's life? anything else that I have. Uh, that building can... again. You said 10 feet. All right. I can just be yeah. back a little bit further in this room. <laughs> Maybe some extra walls. Um, Directly those on... of yeah. Bear and Nehessa, you see that, like, Mac's face is inches <laughs> from Leif's hands and the Summer Star. Like, like, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do um, an, I do an still do no down. and then swan dive out of the window over the gourd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you heard it. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Actually, hold, hold on. What, what are we actually doing? We're completing the thing. Yeah, we're turning we're it on. The, what, what, why? Because ghosts are telling us. The ghosts to are telling us. Yeah. Yeah. That would never go through. That would free him. The two people that did get in he's been wrong about everything else. Yeah, the really two people who did get incinerated are the kind of people. I don't think this is like a soul stone thing. Would you stay here in this hut yeah. as a ghost for the rest of eternity? No, but the two people that did get incinerated are the kind no. of people that were like, "Well, if I'm stuck here, you guys are all staying." <laughs> no, what? <laughs> no, that is literally the opposite of the way Bear is. <laughs> yeah. well, maybe Nehessa. No, okay. I did want to get you to pick it up just in case it blew up again. But or actually, no, I wanted Kaylee too. But uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, uh, I thought you two were bonding. As Kaylee is picking it up, uh, slowly the picture of a crossbow bolt is being drawn. Oh wait, no, you shot it into Kaylee. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. I got it back. I got yeah. it backwards. Okay. okay. So, um, 
Yeah. Yeah. So some someone's got to pick it up. Leave. I mean, do you? It sounds like you were interrupted from doing so. So. Uh, I, yeah, I'm gonna. If I've attuned to the I, ring. Yeah, okay. I just I just want to know that we're doing this for something. I don't. What what does this even do? We we make a magic thing magic, right? Yeah, we don't know. We, exactly. we have, well, you do know that that, that when you, it's completed, it should allow you to cast control weather. So all okay, all we, we know is that the ghosts of the people who va who vaporize are like begging mm -hmm. us to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which That's seems really like a decent really reason. Well. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But we also have two vaporized party members. Are we going to have a third one? I mean, well, we're kind of all in at this point. Like, does another one make a big? <laughs> <laughs> We've only used about we only used about a third. Yeah, we're probably used about a third of the adventure. Maybe Nick can get his money back. <laughs> All right. Okay. So Leif picks it up, um, and the rings. Uh, he's holding the outer ring, and the two inner rings start spinning around it. Um, and there's that glowing light and everything. Um, and it reaches this this brightness, but not nearly as bright as before. Um, and Leif, you can feel that third ring is vibrating inside of your hands, um, but it's solid and it maintains it. And after a moment, you you get the sense that you have now attuned to the Summer Star, <gasps> and you feel like you can cast Control Weather. That's not what I want to do. I want to undo the snap. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not what the Summer Star does. I think you should do it. I think you should control the weather. Did attune it. Okay. Do, do it. Why? Make you it like it being it. blizzard time all the time? <laughs> but what's the weather like it, now? Right now, we, um, we may it not is... need to control the weather, but it also clearly does things other than control the weather. Yeah, so like, can I, you know, if I'm attuned to it, do I get a sense of what it's going to do? Like what? Like you get a it? sense that if you cast if you cast control weather, the spell will go off successfully. You're such a bitch. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that no really identifier the weather. I mean, that's what he learned, and you don't learn the properties of cursed shit, yeah. right? So, what's the weather like now? Right now, it is um, dark. It is, uh, I would say, it would be considered Arctic cold. So I'm looking at the tables that are involved with control weather, because you basically mm -hmm. get to step a few different things up or down. Um, so mm -hmm. the precipitation right now is overcast. Um, so you could make it either light clouds or you could make it snow. Um, it's Arctic cold, so like negative 40. You could make it cold, so you can make it like zero. Um, and the wind right now is moderate. You could stop the wind if you wanted to. Okay, so then pre precipitation down instead of snow. Temperature mm -hmm. up, wind down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you cast control weather. Um, the uh, the summer star. Uh, there's this burst of of white light, and you get this moment where you like flinch and close your eyes, but it's just light after a moment. Like it's not actual searing radiant damage like before. Um, and sure enough, uh, um, you don't feel it yet in the environment, but Leif, you can tell that that you have successfully cast Control Weather. Um, and you would know, since you're attuned to it, that it lasts up to eight hours as long as you maintain concentration. Um, <laughs> and hang on, hang on, hang on. And Mac, once that happens, uh, Mac's like... And he's looking, you see him, like, his eyes looking around. He's like, I think, is that... Have I always... Is this? Oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. And then you see his face is starting to fade from view. And he, he, he looks at Nessa and Bear. He's like, thank you. He's like, this is what I, I've devoted my, thank you so much. And he's like, blessings of, of Lathander on you. And then he- Flip him off. <laughs> yeah. <I don't... laughs> he, Just he like. Fades, he fades completely from view. And as he fades, Good Nessa rip. and Bear, you two, mm -hmm. um, your physical forms reform around you. And you are returned to the world of the living. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> what a piece of shit! I'm t yeah. Bear, bear just kind of looks around. Not mm -hmm. gonna look a gift horse in the mouth, but what the fuck just happened? Um. Also, uh, everyone for assisting with 
the finishing of the Summer Star, and mm-hmm. because of um, Max parting gift, uh, everyone receives a supernatural gift called the Blessing of the Morning Lord. Holy shit. And that wow. means that every day at dawn, you gain five temporary hit points. Wow. I like Okay, so... Still would have gotten me killed twice over fixing his stupid... (laughs) I just realized what this means for Runo. And you're not going to like it. (laughs) I think I have an idea. I think I'm going to like it. So so, uh, I run right up to Nahesa and Bear, and I'm like glancing at Rixana the whole time too, and, and and I'm like, so it is all a game. Oh, you had me worried. <laughs> I... So you died and now you're back. That's how it's supposed to work. No. But you made me you made it sound like it was a really like permanent thing. Am I still holding this stupid thing? Uh if you want to be. Uh, I have to concentrate yeah, just to like, keep the weather going. This seems like I yeah I I look down and I'm like looking up and looking down at you know I, she's if she's like rat you know hugged us or whatever she's you know <laughs> I don't know I don't think I really I can't formulate words I think mm-hmm. <laughs> this isn't usually how it goes so usually angry. people don't come back mm-hmm. Bear is gonna <laughs> hold out his open pack to leave but but Just put it in. <laughs> Yeah, I... Rix, are you still outside? Um, I would have come back inside at this point. Okay, okay. So what do I do? Did you guys the... like open the wine barrel or what? It... Well, I don't know. Wait, did Mac, Mac not come back? Huh? No, no, he um Mac he passed. Oh, on. Wait, his passed body on. is outside under the rocks. <gasps> no, he. Pa- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quick, go check on him. Make sure he doesn't suffocate. <laughs> No, he, no, no, no. His, second dog, his spirit. He, he, <laughs> yeah. he was allowed to move on. Yep. Oh, okay. So his, mm-hmm. his unfinished business is oh. was to make a shitty little snow globe. Which, which oh, you guys are gonna love this, Leif. Leif, after <laughs> mm-hmm. Leif, you're gonna love this. After you cast um, control weather, uh, and you're, I mean, you're holding it. You're still Don't concentrating you on it, quote unquote. But you get the sense that. The summer star won't be able to cast it again. Oh, fucking Christ. Whatever. It only mm-hmm. works once. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My life's work is complete. I can pass on. I, a thing. I go <laughs> um, <laughs> good thing you didn't hang yeah. around, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I go dunk my head in this barrel of wow. wine. Oh <laughs> uh, I I hope. I truly hope that the adventure is not uh, that, as written, the adventure is not trying to pose this man as competent. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so I, I guess I dump it into uh, Josh's uh, backpack. Carefully, carefully. I mean, mm. I'll just uh, leave it I, here. Why would you? What do I do with Bear's ashes now? <laughs> no, I think we're reconstituted. I don't think we, you know, I think the ashes are. Are gone. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, right. are they though? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna say yes because I don't oh. want to have to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are gonna prestige this. Is that what you're? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. I cast oh, true no. resurrection on the ashes, and now there's two bears. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So Nick, can yes. I make the? Uh the leap of intellect here that uh, the reason why we came back from the dead is Lathander raised us as a reward since we've got Lathander's blessing. Yes. Okay. Yes, the goal was to have Still it be slightly warmer in this area for, on, for a couple of hours. I mean, I might just stop concentrating at spying. <laughs> wow, yeah, welcome to the winning team. I would team, not blame then. you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, everybody is going to get uh, 500 experience for completing the quest at the Black Cabin. Mm-hmm. And what are you guys doing from here? 
All right, so I, I am not. Other than getting on. drunk on Matt getting, line. No, I, I passed my save. Getting the so. fuck out oh. of here. <laughs> yeah. I want nothing to do with the place anymore. Fuck this place. Fuck that guy. I'm gone. Okay. I hop down. Yeah, I, I, I'm just waiting for everyone to clear out. Sp speechless. Who sent us on this freaking mission? <laughs> what, what what I'm going to kick him in the nuts. <laughs> uh, now, in full understanding that uh, the situation she's in is indeed not uh, real and is actually a game, and um, looks a lot less conflicted than she was before, and has her lucidity has completely passed. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh boy <laughs> uh, oh well before no before we go uh like once everyone's out of the cabin i cast shatter on the post closest to the cliff's edge and i want to watch it tumble <laughs> off the thick cabin no! Off the cliff. no rangers built this decades ago <laughs> it's still like a kind of a show oh my god yep there it goes i just watch it yeah, yeah so ob objects save at disadvantage right now, so yeah <laughs> Oh, it failed. Cool. Uh, can we say while uh, Leaf was doing all of his attuning stuff, uh, we can figure out what that amulet we found does? Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, the amulet uh, that oh, the was on Max remains. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, i got to look that up just to make sure that I'm not giving you the wrong thing. Of radiant resistance. <laughs> 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 Um, it is an amulet of health, uh, which uh, it requires attunement. Yeah. Your constitution score is 19 while you wear this amulet, and it has no effect Whoa. if your con score is already 19 or higher. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Really He's cool. still got vaporized. What a schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> if I had been wearing that, I wouldn't have been vaporized. <laughs> So I, I I'm trying to think of the 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 worst, not the worst thing that Runa could state to Rixana as they're leaving, but like it's definitely up there. And I think it's uh, it's um as they're leaving in the black cabin is, or the remains of the black cabin are fading from view. She says, uh, um. You really had me going for a while there, Tissa. You're getting a lot better at making believe that you're Rixana. <laughs> <laughs> Rix just looks at her, not sure how to respond. And she just walks off. <laughs> <laughs> Leaves you with that little tidbit. <laughs> All right. So, what's your guys' plan from here? Well, I think we're talking about the uh, prison. Now, the right? prison. Yeah, we're heading towards the yeah. prison. That's where we were going. In the first place, yeah. This was a uh, okay. this side quest sucked. <laughs> <laughs> and who was it that drug us on the side you quest? You can again? you can hear if you pass a perception test. You can hear me grinding my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'm like I'm like the, the, the cabin should have hit the me. floor by now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if we head back to the uh, the town where. The, the dude who gave us the quest is mm -hmm. and you're just like so they're like so is mac okay and you're just like i know what i'm just backhand when we get to it but yeah <laughs> okay all right let's head to the um prison then revels end. to revels end all right so the journey from the black wow. cabin to revels end is going to take you another two days even with the sleds? Uh, mm -hmm. It's pretty far. It's the same distance as Bryn Shander to the Black Cabin, and that took you two days. I thought that took us one day. Uh, it took you, you had night, or you yeah. had to stop once. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, before we had the dog sleds, it was taking us two days to get from, like, one town to another. And they're Yeah, a lot now, well, we travel twice as fast as on foot with the sleds. Mm -hmm. Right, so it makes sense that a place that's twice as far away would take the same amount of time. Uh, yeah. Um, Leif, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you're not concentrating on control weather anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless you want to. Can I 
Do I? So I, did I only get to make the choice once? I can't like change it the whole time I'm concentrating. I mean, once you once you break concentration, the spell's done. So no, but I mean, I can't like adjust the while, sliders while, the while it's going active. On. No, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, then yeah, I drop concentration. Fuck this game. Okay. All right. Well, uh, then a blizzard hits while you guys are traveling. Sons of bitches. Fun. <laughs> Who did that? Who there. did that? No one did it. The travel, the travel dice did it. <laughs> um. All right. Who did that? Just up. glances at chat, like <laughs> glares at chat. Which yeah, one of you? By the way, uh, we should figure out who's actually using this amulet. Um, yes. Sort of like how we failed to end figure the, out ring. the ring. <laughs> I'll let you I guys forgot. do that now. Um, I forgot that I had a bless from chat from the beginning of the session, so I'll just apply it to the next roll I make, if that's okay. That works for me. Um, I'm sort of thinking, I, I don't know what uh, what Nahasa's <coughs> constitution is or Rixana's. I think maybe Rixana tends to faceplant more than anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it right? would help me disagree. Design. But she also does a lot of damage, so keeping our damage person me, online... I already have 14. Huh? Are we discussing the amulet? I was think... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was just saying it would be helpful for me because it would carry forward when I shapeshift, but I already have 14 cons, so it's not as big of a jump as it would hmm. be for, like, Rixana. My, my I would request Rixana it. Have possessing a d6 hit die, but... Oh, yeah, that's also <laughs> true. But you don't really get hit very often. Rixana gets, like, slapped. I only mm. don't get hit very often. We had like no AC, and then she upgraded it, and we haven't really been in many fights since then. So okay. still like what a fifteen though, or is, are you at a sixteen now, Ian? Sixteen uh, AC, yeah. 16. Potentially All right, up to so my, 18, my but... vote is Rixana on the Hesse then. Is myself. I I throw a broken pool cue at their feet. <laughs> <laughs> After inventing the game of pool. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that, yeah. <laughs> You're a game designer, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So the the Hesse can have it. That's fine. Thanks. And the Ring yeah, of Radiant yeah. Resistance. Who is most likely to piss off a god? Well, unfortunately... <laughs> if somebody asks if you're a god... Uh, you say... <laughs> you say yes. Oh... <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Out of all of us, I think Leif is the most contentious. So, <laughs> I was gonna say, I think that's gonna be you or I. If any speaker happens to be a cleric, you're gonna need that. This is also very true. Yeah, I'm keeping it for my how to piss off a uh, seeker star kit. <laughs> I think if anyone in the party is most likely to piss off a priest, it's probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super religious. All right. <laughs> Um, okay, so you guys are traveling. I should ask this. Are you stopping to rest before you travel? Are you, like, taking a moment to rest before you get up and go? You know what I mean? Fuck that, I want out of here. Did we expend that, any no resources? Shit. I mean... I have to. I spent a couple Because of I have points. to repair RoboBear. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Oh, wait, did it collapse oh, when right. you died? RoboBear got... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't I, think Lathander can... I said uh, that, that may have been why oh. everything cut out. I just imagine, uh, yeah. I just imagine, like, there's this, like, secondary it's... explosion outside where the bear, like, just went... <laughs> <laughs> after bear. The it's, it just crumpled into a pile of scrap metal, essentially. Uh, all so right, then we'll rest before the we go, then, I guess. doesn't even look what it, w it was before, because yeah. it was magically its shape. Yeah. Okay, um, short rest or long rest? It has to be a long rest, unfortunately. Oh, okay, all right, all right. That's long rest, then. That's fine. Nobody, pretty hurt. nobody else said yeah, rest. I'm at, like, eight hit points, so... It's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah! That was why I asked, because I knew a couple of you were low, so... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, all right, if six. you were going to head out, I probably would have healed you more, but... Uh, mm. It's more the emergency, get people not dying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you guys take a long rest um, outside the black cabin while Bear uh, rebuilds uh, Robo Bear. 
And then as during the course of your long rest, you can see that the weather is turning foul. So then probably about halfway through your journey is when you the blizzard really kicks in in full. Um, as you guys are going, uh, it's dark, it's a blizzard, the, the wind and snow is everywhere, it's really obscuring your vision. Uh, but this part of Icewind Dale, when you're this close to the sea of moving ice, it's really just kind of flat white. Um, there, there, there's not trees, there's some rocks, but not a lot, you know, but there's not really um, a whole lot to really break up the, the very monotonous or the, the monochromatic, I guess would be a better way to say it, um, landscape around you. However, as you're going in the middle of this blizzard, uh, you see what looks to be in the distance um, a dark silhouette of a, a humanoid. Um, they look to be sitting in the snow, um, probably about 100 feet ahead of you. What are you doing? Just sitting, like, on something, or, like, cross-legged on the floor, or... Um, it's hard. So basically what you can see, uh, from this distance out Leif and with your passive perception, um, it looks like their legs are under the snow that's piling around them from the blizzard. And they're just, they just appear to be sitting there. Um, you can see that they have long, really long white hair that's whipping around and all that. Um, but otherwise you don't see any other activity from them. God, do we just roll a weeb on the random encounter? <laughs> So they're they're uncovered from the elements. That doesn't sound great either. Yeah. Other than like like their legs, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go around? <laughs> it's one person. You're just like, nah, fuck it. Is it just mm -hmm. one person? I thought you said there is. Nope. It's just one one figure is all that you see. It takes I'm one person to clear your day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's check this out. Really? Yeah. I mean. I can throw a ball bearing at them and see what happens. You can throw a ball bearing in a blizzard. <laughs> this is like those people in the south that shoot their guns in the air, Ian. <laughs> oh, jeez. Can't yeah, go wrong. Because of the rotation of the earth, it can't fall down and hit you. So you <laughs> it makes perfect sense. I just saw okay. people come back to life from ash. Anything is possible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're um, divine now. <laughs> that's how that works. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so you're going to move forward and inspect? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, are you taking uh, Bjarn Ken up with you? I'm just asking for the purpose of the next map. No, I don't want him killed by some weeb. <laughs> okay. You can't prove um, that. It's a guy in so, black with white hair sitting in the middle of the snow. As chat put, graciously pointed out, rule of ninjas, this guy's a badass. Run. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you really think that Seshomaru here could kill a bear? Because, like... Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you guys uh, um, approach this individual um, uh, getting closer and closer. They didn't make no sign of reacting to your approach. Um, How close then, are we? I'd, I'll stop you at 30 feet. Unless you wanted to stop thoughts. before. No, that. I... Okay. Hold up. I thought you said detect uh, yeah, thoughts. De yeah. <laughs> detect thoughts? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, do I detect okay. any? Um, so, yeah, so you cast detect thoughts, <laughs> and... Yeah, you hear, what you hear is... Um, it's very... Slow, methodical, um, and the thought process is like uh, um, basically wait it out. It's almost done. Blizzards don't last forever. Just wait it out. You said that this was a guy like not wearing foul weather gear, right? Uh, correct. Now that you're closer, it looks like he's wearing. Um, you can see wizard's robes, um, and mm -hmm. it looks like he's. You. It looks like there's something like. Uh, like almost like he has a lot of pouches or or packs of some sort, like around his belt. Um, and the snow has like built up around him, like he's on the top of this little mound, and he's sitting there not moving. Um, mm -hmm. and you just keep hearing that, like, like just wait it out. It's a Rob Liefeld character. He's got he's got long hair. He's got pouches, <laughs> and you can't see his feet. 
<laughs> I approve. And I guess I try the, the probe deeper, so he makes the wisdom save, but uh, I, I don't know if he's reacting or anything. You said he hadn't so far. Correct. But, yeah. So okay. He hasn't noticed us? I don't know. Uh, made no, made no um, sign of it. Mm -hmm. All right, All a right, wisdom so, save. Yeah, 14. Um, you are unable to probe any deeper. All right, so it's over. Um, he's just saying he's going to wait it out, or he intends to. Let's go say hi, then. Why, I mean, what if it's another spotlight zone? Oh, you didn't see that one. Yeah, go check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Rix yeah. is going to approach? Yep. Okay. Go with. Yeah, I yeah. follow up. All right. I'm going to assume that everybody is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so, so you guys get closer. Um, and as you approach this individual uh, and get within, like, you know, 5, 10 feet, um, they look, they look like a human popsicle. They look frozen entirely. Um, other than every so often, like their hair getting whipped about, um, mm -hmm. they're basically every part of them is frozen. And not only that, they definitely look dead. Um, it looks like a frozen corpse, uh, just sitting there. Ooh. Um, and Nehesa, you keep hearing, you keep hearing the same thoughts, you know, you keep hearing, just wait it out. Just, just, it'll be over with soon. Um, but then after a moment. Um, as you're approaching, the ground feels a little different beneath your feet. Like you're walking and the snow is is kind of, but then you get to a point where the snow doesn't give as much and it almost feels like you're you're walking on, um, it would feel like a carpet or a canvas that's stretched out beneath your feet. And when that happens, Nehesa, and you guys are about 10, 5, 10 feet away from this, this person. Uh, when that happens, yeah. Nehesa, the thoughts change. And it's like, what's this? What? Oh, okay. This will be fun. Stop. So I'm going to call yeah. for initiative now. Yeah, oh, boy. Okay. Well, I mean, do we have a map? <laughs> yes, I will move us. Um, okay, this is I just... theater of the mind. No, no. <laughs> no, it is not. Um, boop. So I'll draw on here where this person is. And then if everyone can give me... Wait, why doesn't he have a token? He, don't worry, the token will show up. <laughs> why did you have to say Because the token it? is the plot point, okay? That's why. <laughs> All right. He hasn't transformed into his final form yet. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking so told this, you this, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the enemies in this encounter are going to have surprise. Um, or there, you will be surprised just because of the nature of this. And when I describe it to you, you'll You're understand. Gonna why. Be surprised. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Just wait for it. And this everybody. Okay. So, um, so Nehesa says, "Wait," like says that that mm -hmm. one word. But as Nehesa says that, um, suddenly you feel the ground start to lift up from underneath your feet, um, mm -hmm. and you see this huge. Uh, gray and white wing just erupt out of the snow oh, um, a big claw and this huge it's just outstretched and the corpse is like suddenly shifting and moving around like there's something underneath it that's moving and eventually after a moment like you guys kind of back up and give a little bit of space but this huge white dragon comes up out of the snow and you see this person is frozen into a saddle on its back mm -hmm. um and it climbs up out of the snow. Oh, Hi. Whoa. Fucking. <laughs> Hi. Um, and it looks down at you, uh, and it says, oh, a little bit of sport. And then it's going to open its mouth and loose its, its breath attack once I get it on the initiative. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm... <laughs> I like how the monster's okay. options for a surprise round are like breath attack, and the player's options are like you get to move or or do something. <laughs> I need all six of you to make a Constitution saving throw, <sighs> and you guys are wearing cold weather gear, yeah. so I'm gonna let you make it with advantage because this is a cold. It's basically you know winter wind. 
coming at you. I'll just roll a second time. Oh, oh I got a second roll. 12. It's a 12 no matter what. There we go. So, All right. Something's telling me that these extra hit points in that amulet health are going to be a curse when the whole party is killed by this. <laughs> um, okay. So let's see here. Um, all right, so Bear, Nehessa, you guys take, um, oh, that wasn't a big roll. All right, so you guys take half of this. Um, you're going to take... My maximum be... hit points are wrong again. Uh, what should they be? 33. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, it's going to show as 10 hit points for the time being, but... Um, all right, so who did I say? Bear and Nehessa? Mm -hmm. You two are going to take 19 cold damage from this. Uh, and oh the rest of you take, uh, what would that, what's that total? 38. I'm I'm conscious react again. <clears throat> reaction to use. Wait, doesn't Rixana have evasion or something? Or is that much later? It's seven. Uh, yeah. Next, oh, seven next level. level, basically. Okay. Or, um, no, maybe it's a little further up. I, I activate up. Absorb Elements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I... What was the DC? Um, You failed. I failed, okay. Uh, so I'm out. Hmm. Uh... So that was I'm its surprise blind. round? That was the yeah. surprise round, yep. Oh, is Kaylee out as well? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, All right, you so win. Round <laughs> two, Leif, you're up. For two healers. I... Good fucking luck. <laughs> Just put up your hands. Yeah, uh, fucking is a free action, right? <laughs> Surrendering is a free action. <laughs> yeah, you said you, you wanted you sport. Win. What sport is this? Ooh. That's good. Um, the dragon blinks a little bit, and it's like, oh, Meltharond, it can talk! And then it kind of looks in close to Leif, and it's like, normally people start running. It would serve oh, no purpose. Although, did, did you guys factor in your, your, your plus five temps from... I mean, that doesn't make <laughs> that much blessing. difference. Yep. I don't know, yeah. Wouldn't make a difference. Wouldn't make a difference? Yeah. All right. So... <clears throat> Yeah, that brings me up to 32, so... <laughs> so yeah. Running would make no difference. It would only serve to uh, delay the inevitable. We would die tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of us have a head start. Yeah, what? Uh, you win. And it sits back. And How it's may like... we, we be of service? It's like, Don't mind me, I've come to bargain. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, Meltharond, they're changing tactics, and you get a sense that it's like speaking what? over its shoulder. Um, it's like, <gasps> yeah, they're, yeah. They've, they're thinking, oh, okay, and then it, it, it gets in really close to Bear, and it's like looking with one eye. Like, it, it keeps turning its head so that its left eye is looking at Bear and then at Leif, and then it's like, which one of you offered that? Who, how many are there? Does it look blind? Uh, uh. Um, it it does it. You're the other eye, the, the medicine uh, skill is unconscious. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. um, hey, as soon as I get an action, I'm I'm waking your ass up. Are any of you are any of you proficient in medicine? Any of the uh, three of you that are up? No, no, I don't believe. So, okay, but... then you're not sure what's going on with it. Um, so, Leif, it's your turn, so I'll let you declare your action, what you want to do. You... It's looking at Bear, right? It's kind of, it's looking to both of you, and the way that it's looking, you get a sense that it can't see much further out than Leif and Bear. Okay. Um... You said you you wanted sport. What what sport is this? Surely there must be something we could do instead. Roll me a persuasion check. Oh fuck off! No, everyone with charisma is down. 
Yo, welcome to the. No. This is why I don't like playing on Charisma Counter. <laughs> um. I was fucking whined when I wasn't gonna be a bard. <laughs> no, I didn't. No one did. offered. Um. So so Leif asks, uh, sure, like, what can we do for you, essentially? Um, mm -hmm. and it's like, it's like, well, I did just eat. Oh. I, I can I can smell the magic on you. You relinquish your magic, and 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 maybe I'll let you go. How many are you, Meltharon? Can you count? Give him the orb. Do you know how many there are? Give him the orb. Yeah, I'm thinking that. Uh, it's not has, all right, so I'm. Um, Who cares? Leif, unless there's something else you wanted to do, I'm going to count that as your action. I'm just going to glance. I want to I want to take a closer look at this Meltharon. I'm guessing he's. He doesn't know that his rider is dead. But is that what you're trying to ascertain? I'm trying to look past it and see if I can see anything on the... Oh, I've been given inspiration. Yes! Um, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Sageless One. Um, yeah, I want to see if I can see what, what, either what killed this, this thing or what the rider is. Oh, I see. Um... Well, if you want to determine what like what it is, it was a human at one point, presumably a wizard, um, but it has since frozen to death. Uh, well, and there I just told you how it died. So yeah, it, you can you can tell that it died from exposure to the elements. Maybe we can trade a, a dead wizard for a real one. Look at Nehessa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Nehessa, what's what are you doing? He's frozen to the saddle. Yes, he's still strapped into the saddle, and he is frozen to death. Yep. Look, <laughs> the saddle. Like, I'm sorry, you're cutting out. What is how, how do the uh, the buckles look on the saddle? I mean, they're secure enough that this person has been, yeah. uh, you know, there for presumably a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like they aren't frozen solid themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say they're probably pretty well frozen. Yeah. All right. Scrap that one. Uh, hmm. You have found the right uh, competitors because we have, you know, recently acquired some truly divine, <laughs> divinely inspired, uh, you know, magic. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you go ahead and show him? Um, but I'm going to crouch down and just try and stabilize the person next to me. Okay. Yeah. Which one? Runa, Kaylee, or Rixana? Oh, or hold on. Wait. Rixana? Uh... Uh, can I grab Kaylee's <laughs> root through her stuff to get her healing kit? Yeah. What, what the, I would say the, so. the gas station one that you bought her? <laughs> yeah, look. It's called yeah. Chekhov's Healing Kit. <laughs> Chekhov's Healing Kit? <laughs> yeah, uh, so it's just an action to use it, right? Yes, yeah, so you don't have to does. make the check then to stabilize. Yeah, uh, I right. do that. To um, who? Uh, It's the person right next to me. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I do it on Kaylee. Okay, Kaylee's stabilized. <laughs> Rixana. Well, but... hmm? what was that? Oh, I thought uh, Bear might have something to say about that. But <clears throat> about about Nehessa stabilizing Kaylee? Yeah, because I thought Bear was just. No. Gonna... As long okay. as you're up, doesn't matter who does it. I won't be up. Just won't have to make death saves. Oh, like Rixana has to do. Yeah, okay. So I'll take a death save, Rix. They, three yeah, so three of, them, three of them do, right? Okay. It, you know. Okay. Um, so that's that's the first of three fails for Rixana. Uh, mm -hmm. The dragon sits back. Um, and it's like, it's like magic from uh, from the divine. Well, sh show it. Uh, reveal this magic, and I'll determine if it's worth one of your lives. Kaylee, oh, you're stabilized. Never mind. Bear. Oh, fuck. Uh, that. Talking. We know, we know that magic item doesn't work anymore anyway, and it has shard wounds. I'm 
I'm not talking in character. <laughs> I'm afraid. I wasn't. <laughs> I, I just love it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. It's already uh, mad. I don't, I don't see the Charlotte making that much difference. Yeah. No, it it very, very much could. Because it's already mad. Do you want it empowered and even more evil than it already might be? I mean, either way, we're dead. <laughs> uh, so I am going to, at this point, bow down and pull out uh, a small cube of steel, which okay. will begin to glow. And the dragon turns its left eye towards you and gets really in really close, and it's like, mm. and then it lifts up a claw, and it like, like if you set it, do you set it on the ground or are you holding it? Uh, if it looks to be coming towards it, I will set it on the ground, but directly in front of me. Okay, um, it's going to try and like, like uh, knock the thing around a little bit to get a look at every side is what it's doing. So it's lifting a claw up and, and giving it a little push, and then another little push, that sort of thing. Um, and it's like, oh, well, what is this? Ooh, appears to be a, a light of some sort. Does the light signify something? Is the light caused by something? What What is this? It is the divine light. We have recently been blessed by Lathander. And it grabs the, the steel thing, like, in its claws, and it lifts it up a little bit, and it's like, Meltharon, do you recognize this? You're more versed in the ways of religion than I am. Meltharon? God, fine! Fine! Continue with the silent treatment. I said I was sorry. I didn't mean to fly right through that, and, and it's not my fault that, you know, I, I, if you just would just talk to me, I could figure... Urgh! And it, it, like, looks, tries to look around, but, you know, you get the sense that it's it's not really... It doesn't know what's going on, obviously. And then it sets the cube back down, and it's like, fine, fine. And then it puts its claw against Bear's chest and gives a little push. And it's like, your life is spared. Who else? So, Runa, I'll take a death save. Um, where do I click for that again? Should be like the uh, should be on your character sheet. Your... Yeah. Click I... death saves. It's right under your uh, temp HP. Where can... Right next to your hit dice. Should be the the actual oh. name or the actual words death saves. Right. Yeah. Roll twenty being real slow. Right oh. Now. Mm -hmm. Like clicking it and it's like, yeah, I think I'm having similar issues that you're having. Okay, here you go. Death saves. Okay, cool. Oh my god. You really are <laughs> <laughs> all right. Lake <Sister>. Mister. <laughs> Back to you. And it's and because it's all a game. None of it's real anyway, right? <laughs> the dragon keeps Christ. looking around, and it's like, and you still haven't told me how many are with you. I've heard more than one voice. There are three of us. Three? Well, then I need more than this for the three of you to walk away. Are we top of the order? I get... Yep. Yeah, so... I like, I like look at... I can give look, you I... two more artifacts. Do you send it to this one? Is I say I say that to the dragon. I can give you two more artifacts. This one has light. I have one with sound and one with pictures. And it's it closes in on bear again, um, and it's like, hmm, hmm. I can smell more magic around you, hmm. And then it it looks over, uh, and it turns its head to look at. Robo Bear, and it's like that. That's a considerable amount of magic. It's like, hmm, mm, I like that better than sound or pictures. And it it brings a claw over to Robo Bear, and if if you're not gonna do, if you're gonna allow it, it's going to try and like pick it up to examine it. Uh, I I will let it happen. Okay. Yeah. I am the dragon grating my teeth audibly, but I let it. Happen. <laughs> 
the dragon picks up Robo Bear and is like turning it around in front of its eye and like looking at it. And it's like, oh yes, this is considerable indeed. Look at all these. It's like tiny wiggling little... his feet, like <laughs> like it's it's constantly walking, yeah, it's just... but it's just <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. <laughs> and it's like there's all these little moving parts, and oh, it's so adorable. While this, it's doing that, this... mm -hmm. I want to like whip off my the, the like the the cloak that I've got mm -hmm. and throw it so that it like covers Rick's honor. Oh, okay. Um. All right, well, it is a blizzard. There's wind and snow and all that, so I am going to call for... Um, oh, gosh, what would that be? Let's do... I'm really let's good at do, throwing stuff. Let's do athletics. Because okay. that's, I'm, I'm that's, a, that's throwing, that's that accuracy. I was graciously given by Sageless One. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. Please, come on, please, please, please. Mm. Come on, that's... You that's are able Ian's to get AC. your cloak over Rick's Donna. Oh, thank Christ. <laughs> yes, that's a success. So your cloak settles over Rixana as this thing is examining Robo Bear, um, and it's like Melthorond, is this is this a gift worthy of your of your speech of your conversation? And then it drops the drops Robo Bear in the snow in front of it, and it's like very well with this and the cube. Two of you may go three may go free, but I need I need more than that. So Leif, that's going to be Got your action. For you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nahessa. And there's the math play, and there's the RP play. If you if you're going to try, what I think you're going to try, please don't. I'm going to try what was it? <laughs> what, do you, what did you think I was going to try? Levitate. <laughs> Huh? No, I think it would have advantage. I, I thought he was going to like try and puppeteer the fucking rider. Celestic Drake. Hmm. I was suggested leave. You know, that would be that would be interesting. No. Yeah, good um, <laughs> I'm going to step forward, shove the healing kit into Leif's hands. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Minor Illusion centered right uh, behind its right eye on the dragon, and it's going to be uh, just incessant whispering. No, not that one. The other one. No, not that one. The other one. No, I want the other one. <sighs> okay. Yeah. yeah. And it has to use an action to focus on the illusion to tell if it's... Yeah. Is that how minor illusion works? Yes. Uh, yeah, so, life, you are now hold, I stuff the, uh, the healing kit into your... Yeah, thanks! Creature uses its action to examine the sound or image. Creature can determine it's an illusion with an intelligence check. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so, uh, and it's, it's like, what? What? Yep, yep, oh, yes, no! And it, it's like, no, the other one! Yep, and it's like, looking now, it's speaking to you guys, it's like, no, 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 no! Another thing, more, more. Um, Rixan, Rixana, I need another death save. Okay. Someone stabilize us, please. I'm trying. That's another fail. Oh my god. Two out of three. <clears throat> um, so it's gonna use its action on its turn. What's your spell save DC? Fourteen. <laughs> okay. Kaylee, uh, you're stabilized. Bear. Uh, so I am going to kind of reach behind you while it's distracted, and I am going to uh, cure wounds on Ricks. There you go, Ricks. Awesome. Ricks, you wake back up. Under a cloak. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Two days. <laughs> it, it doesn't smell great either. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Runa. Um, hitting the button. 
Oh my god, why does this take so long? Yeah, that is weird that some of them... Save versus suspense. Oops, loading my character <laughs> sheet. Okay, boom. There you go. That's yeah, a success. Yeah, okay, that's a success. At least I'm not on death's doorstep. Right. Leif. Uh, I'm going to back up and apply the healing kit to uh, Rune. Mm -hmm. All right, so Runa is stabilized. Nehessa. It definitely, the, the dragon looks like it's still thoroughly distracted. Um, but mm -hmm. it keeps it keeps like stammering and going like no I I need another one he, we need another one we need another one of the another one if you have another one what one what one another something different something another but just another magic item something mm -hmm. just give it the lamp with the elemental lamp yeah uh, yeah for the second time this scene <laughs> breathe through <laughs> oh. Kaylee stuff. <laughs> Oh. And just like heave the lantern out onto the snow. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And it's like what? And it kind of bats it around with its with its claw, and it's like what? What? No. And it, it kicks it back to Nehesa. It's like another one. A, 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 something else. This one's no. It doesn't like this. Another something else. Meltharond, are you sure? Meltharond doesn't like this. I need something else. <laughs> this is an illusion that you put on it. <laughs> I know, right? No, well, it's telling him, no, I don't want that one. I want the other one. No, I, uh, yeah, all right. Hmm. What well, would you consider that an action, or was that the free object interaction? I'll, I'll do that your free object. Hmm. But do I have to stop the minor illusion, or does it just run for the minute? I is it concentration? Yep. Yeah, it's not concentration. It's just, it just it has a duration of a minute, but it didn't pass the check, so I don't know if it just plays indefinitely it, or... Uh, it runs it, for the minute it, until... Willingly, I think. Uh, yeah. Or you can make discrete sounds at different times. Uh, the sound continues unabated throughout the duration. So yeah. it seems like once you hit play, it just runs unless... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, unless Tom they Luke. figure it out. But then it's still mm -hmm. going. Uh, right. Hmm. Well, we are all. I mean, we are all stable at least. Um, oh, the the illusion ends if you dismiss it as an. Act. Oh sure. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. How much do you think the frozen body weighs? <laughs> the the body on the dragon's back? Yeah. Oh, Life's entire being clenches. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Um are you <laughs> No, I mean like it's yeah, if it's frozen to the saddle, then I don't think it's it's levitatable, right? Uh I would say that you don't think you'd be able to levitate the body yeah. off of the saddle, no. Oh fuck. Uh, hey, give me the. I back up. I guess I'm not disengaging, so it could swipe at me, but it doesn't seem like it. It's it's yeah. The wherewithal to it, yeah. Uh, give me the give me the orb. Bear has an orb. You have the. Why do you? I oh. dumped it in Bear's pack. Yeah, give me, give him the orb. We've kept the no. best for last. <laughs> All right, uh, Bear, you hand over the, the Summer Star? No, I do not. I am not okay. handing Shardlin over to a crazy dragon. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll go to we, we'll go to Rick's now. Yeah, okay. Life, life proves yeah. a diamond. Unless you have an immediate response to that, Nasa, because that was just you talking. Hmm. Uh... I mean, I already interacted with something and did something with it. I think that's plenty. Okay. All right. Rix. Okay. Um, so the last thing I remember is a big dragon appearing, <laughs> an ice breath, and then I wake up under a blanket. Yep. Um, and and a you, can, you can hear cloak. them talking. Yeah. I hear I just so see Rix on a like peek up like she's just woken up from bed and then just pull the covers back <laughs> over like that Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm probably not going to do anything too substantial with my turn other than like. Um, 
peek under the blanket and get a sense of what exactly is going on for my turn. Sure. Uh, you see the, the light-up cube of steel and the overturned robo-bear um, on the ground in front of the dragon. And the dragon keeps, like, getting in close to bear. And when Nahasa comes forward and is like, give it the thing, and bear's like, no, it's like, what? What? What is this? Is it? Is it something, you know, and it's... So there's, there's obviously back and forth going on there. Okay. Yeah, I'll just say my turn is getting my bearings this time, and then okay. next turn I'll do something. Um, all right, uh, it's going to make a save, or not a save, it's going to make a test against that illusion again. Do we have any healing potions? <laughs> we have a Kaylee. We have the healing kit, and we have uh, Bear's spell slots. Okay, Bear, it's your turn. Ah. Uh. Rooted. Somebody gave Lathe inspiration. Yeah, that happened yep. before he, I used it. Again? Yeah. Oh, no. No. I, yeah. I, I oh, must have missed okay. that. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. huh. My mm -hmm. armor is magical. Will you take that? Oh, like, 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 Lathe, like, right audibly back. gasped. <laughs> uh, nope. And it's. Um, okay, so uh, mechanical question: What sort of magic is your armor? Oh, it's infused. It's, it's plus not one armor. Magical. Ah. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, well, uh, it, the dragon sniffs, and it's like, it, and as it's far like, as yes. it can tell, it's plus one standard, right. plus one scale now. Yeah, there is mm -hmm. no way to tell any other way. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like yes, I do. I smell. Yes, yes. Uh, doff your armor, and and. And and uh, I'll inspect it. That's a multi-minute process. Yeah, <laughs> I start undoing the the strap, <laughs> and Holy I'm shit. looking at everybody like get the fuck I start out playing. Here. I start playing that song in Jackass when the guy with the gold trunks runs on. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I need don't a, understand the reference. Another death save. Here we go. Runa's been stabilized. No, I stabilized. Runa has Runa. been. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, never mind, never mind. So yeah, then yeah, every, yeah, everyone's at least stable. Oh. Top Is of the its round. attention like fixated on on the bear? It keeps and... you see like it's it's watching bear and then it keeps like turning its head over its shoulder. Um, but it's not it's not speaking right, to so Melthoron. What I'm anymore. gonna do is I'm gonna like like use my axe to kind of like not reflect light onto its face, but I'm trying to work out if I'm at the edge of its vision. Right, I'm gonna try and oh, I like, see. cause a distraction to see if I, it if it's got the wherewithal to notice what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Once you start to shift, like once you, where are you? Oh, you're all the way back there. Um, no, you seem you don't see it react to your movement at all. Then I'm literally gonna drag, start dragging Kaylee and Runa back. Okay, I'll say that if you're dragging both of them. You can only move five feet, but I'm, if you drag one I'm, of them, you can move fifteen feet. Buffers balls! How dare you? What? Uh, <laughs> I'll drag Kaylee back because I've okay. I haven't I don't think I've seen Bruna heal anybody, right? Mm, not unless you count power naps as healing. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you can move up to fifteen feet, Kaylee. You can move with him. Um, Nehesa. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Just waiting for Bear to take his armor off? Is there anything specific you wanted to mm -hmm. do? Uh, no, I'm not waiting around for that shit or anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, hmm. All right. Uh, oh, Rick's one is the one with the cloak, not Rune. Damn. Um, but, uh, okay, so Leif was able to be here and be out of its range of vision, right? Yes. All right. I'm going to levitate Runa, like, six inches off the ground, and then just kind of kick her backwards. Like how like Boba Fett gets, gets Han into the Slave 1, right? <laughs> yeah. Like floating like a table. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, well not not quite that high, yeah, but like mm -hmm. basically that. 
It, okay. like, kind of I'll shuffleboard her along. I'll let Runa move 15 feet away from <laughs> Nehessa. We get the curling brooms only... out and start brooming. Is <laughs> that... <laughs> that works. Is that the direction you were... Uh, I'm asking... Uh, I was I'm, just I'm shoving her back that. towards Leif, because he didn't... Okay. He didn't seem to draw the yeah, attention. That's good. That was the idea. Uh, okay. So I think I backed up. Yeah. So Rix, you turn into an animal. <laughs> Rix, you can hear every you can hear people moving around you, and you hear you heard that interchange about the armor. What are you doing? So I'm gonna creep out from under the cloak. Um, I see everyone kind of backing away, and I will follow suit. This would be a great time for can. Bear to slot out. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Rix, when you start to move, uh, you see the dragon's head perk up, and it's like, wait, who's that? Is that your third? There's three of us. There's three of us. Look, it's only the three of us. And it's like, hmm, okay. All right, stay where you are. Don't move unless you have something to offer as well. We've Speaking already... To You're getting three objects. I haven't already... approved the armor yet. So uh, then the other two get to leave, and I am the third until you approve of the armor. And it like slams its claw down next to Bear and gets in really close, and it's like, I'm making the rules, and no, no, it's uh, he. We are making the rules. What? You, another? And it's like, you take off your armor, and it looks over at Rix, and it's like, you don't move. Now, where's the third one? Um, and it's going to spend its action on the illusion again. Is it seriously continuing to this, fail this, this low S? <laughs> White dragons are okay. notoriously the dumbest. <laughs> uh, um, okay, all right, Bear. Continuing to off. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to buy them time. I continue. Yep. Yeah, okay, so we're 12 seconds into a 10-minute process. He's <laughs> taking <laughs> off his suit of armor. I'm just getting it to the point like, like, okay, Leif, mm -hmm. your turn. Right, so I'm going to cast I've got Cure Selected. Yeah, okay. so I'm going to cast Cure on Kaylee. Okay. Nice. Thank you. And as she, oh, like, as she wakes up. <laughs> and I'll, co I'll continue right. to drag. And then, can I, can I drag and nudge the, uh, the hovering runa? I would say yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll move back another fifteen. Okay. Runa, go ahead and move with Leif uh, and Kaylee. Nahessa? Yeah. Is Casey speaking? I can't hear anything. No, no, I, I'm not. I'm thinking, sorry. Uh... Maybe it's like the Death Star. Maybe there's like a... Exhaust port. Port that you can... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna minor illusion an exact copy of myself standing in my space, just standing with her arms crossed. Uh, so like an exact copy of my token, and then yeah. I will Homer Simpson into the hedges. <laughs> <laughs> So, the dragon, um, you can see the dragon, like, it, um, as it's speaking to Meltharond, it, like, stops. And mm -hmm. it's like, oh, and it turns and looks back to, um, to Rix and Bear, because there's the only two that are, like, immediately in front of it. And mm -hmm. it's like, tricky! You are being tricky! Well, no more tricks! And then the, the image of Nehessa pops up. And it's like, and you, I can tell you're there. I can see you. Stay mm -hmm. there. Like, no more tricks for many of you. My patience is wearing thin. Um, but you are able to back up. 
like it. And, and speaking to your illusion. Thin. Now take nine and a half minutes to continue duffing <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. uh, yeah, so I will, now I will move. Okay. That's I was going to say, at this point, Rix, is there anything else that you want to do um, before Bear is completely uh, out of his armor? Um, I don't think so. I guess just for my own information, is this just a bear landscape or is there like any trees nearby? Um, there's a couple of, as you can see on the map, there's some dead trees. There's one just mm -hmm. northwest of your position. There's some rocks, uh, but otherwise it's it's pretty open. Like it's pretty much flat white. It's not so much yeah. a bear landscape as a bear landscape, total landscaping. <laughs> um i no i'm not gonna do it i will just help bear get the armor off okay all right more quickly at that point then um yeah okay so you take the armor off and and the dragon sniffs at it um and it's like very well and it takes its claw and it scoops together the steel cube and the robo bear and the armor and it's like, this will suffice. And it it grabs them and it it holds them close to its chest and it looks in really close at Bear. And it's like, hmm, hmm. I think if I notice you again on the tundra, I'll let you go. He's I, I want you to collect more for me next time. <laughs> and it's like, oh, and in fact, if you just wouldn't mind delivering these things, right? There, there's a ship. Right over there. If you if you find more more magic, uh, Leaf deliver shots him to that gold. ship. No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't do that. It's, it's like, <laughs> that would be great, though. It's like it's like don't worry. The the kobolds on the ship will welcome you if you're bringing offerings. <laughs> and then it's like, all right, Melthorond, uh, I suppose you're back to your quiet self now, huh? <clears throat> you tricks. It's like, all right. Then we're off, and it lifts its wings up, and it beats them really hard, and it flies up into the air, and it is out. So it left the stuff. Oh, it no, it took it. It took oh, it. No. So it took Robo Bear. It took Robo Bear. Huh. Yep. I can make it now. Noise. I'm. What an eventful episode. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so that's going to be 450 experience for everyone for that encounter. Yeah, I, I worked my ass off. Me too. Yeah, you totally <laughs> earned that. I, I got all the rest of their experience. I know what you gave up everything. You gave up, up you gave up stuff that you could easily replace. Is Robo Bear mm -hmm. is that something that like over the course of the next long rest you could make another one or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. the, I mean, he, he crap metal to, to make him. Sure. Oh, oh, sure. Does the previous is... one cease to be magical then? Like, does it basically turn into scrap when, metal? When I make the new one, yes. Okay. Cool. I'll just I'll just need to but keep track of when that happens. Yep. Uh, I know I am going to have a very pissed off, uh, I presume, <laughs> ancient dragon. Yeah, I assume uh, it was pretty. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's yeah. he's gonna have a cube of plain steel, <laughs> normal scale mail, <laughs> yep. a bear-shaped yeah, pile of scrap metal. The only way this could have been any more offensive is if we'd just given him plague blankets. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, All right, plague blankets again. Right. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay, so you guys uh, now, um, after that harrowing encounter. Um, mm -hmm. you make it to Revel's End. You see it in the distance. Um, I have a piece of art here to share with you all. Um, the prison complex of Revel's End is shaped like a star, uh, and you can kind of see that as you approach that the walls... Now, you're obviously not seeing it from this angle, because this is mm -hmm. looking at it from the sea of moving ice. You're coming at it from pretty much the opposite, almost the opposite side. Um, yeah. But you can see that the walls are pointed and everything, so it gives the image of a star, and there's this huge tower in its center, and it is... It's not bisected, but there's this huge ridge that kind of cuts through the northern third of it. Um, and that ridge is called the Windbreak. Um, mm. And as you're approaching, you can see you can see like that lift and everything on the one side, which you would you would be able to presume correctly 
goes down to the sea of moving ice where ships will dock and offload supplies and prisoners. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that is a good place to end it. It's 1045. Um, I don't really want to start another encounter with only 15 minutes to go. Uh, so that's where we'll pick up next week. Um, 950 experience. That's not too bad. Yeah. It's not too bad. Do we have all? Are we? We're close to leveling up, right? 6,300. Yeah, uh, 6, okay, we're getting there. About 2k away. Yeah. No, like 1.4k. <laughs> no. Oh, no, 6,500. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's 65. Yeah. Uh, okay, so 1.6. 1, 1. Excuse me. Um, yeah. All right. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, thanks so much for chat, uh, for everyone watching tonight and for participating in chat. Thanks for the couple extra follows uh, that I got today for everybody cashing in their channel points. I know that our players appreciated the inspiration and the blesses. I um, did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we will be reconvening uh, next Tuesday at 7 p.m. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you later. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.